Hello, hello! Welcome everyone to Total War Free Kingdoms. But not really. Um, yeah, how, how is everyone doing? Uh, let me just get all my stuff ready. Here's my face, hello. Um, how is everyone doing? Welcome. We're gonna play another campaign. Yep, it's three o'clock, my time. Which means we're allowed to jump into the new campaign. So if it wasn't clear from the amazing thumbnail, I really like that thumbnail actually. Playing as Zhao Ming, the Iron Dragon, today. Um, the new embargo has dropped as of 20 seconds ago, which allows us to play as both Zhao Ming as well as Korn. I might play Korn as well in the upcoming days, um, but for now we're going to play good old Zhao Ming. Dragon Lord. That's not Vito. Sorry, Vito's in the other room again. Um, hello, Hellborg. Hello, Valabesh again. Hello, Alexander Lu. Um, yeah, so, let's just uh, jump into this. Xiao Ming, the Iron Dragon. A faction effects? Actually, that's, uh, well, I, I didn't play as Miao Ying, so I have a quick look at her as well. Um, yeah, she's basically, from what it looks like, missile focused, and then uh, Xiao Ming is uh, more melee unit focused, which is cool. Um, so he gets maximum cargo capacity for caravans. Well, it's a new feature or mechanic for the um, the Grand Cafe faction, which we'll go over when we get into the game. We get uh, plus five recruit rank for alchemists, minus twenty five percent upkeep for ogre mercenary units. Pretty cool. Uh, plus fifteen armor for melee units. That's pretty baller. That's faction as well. That's not just for his army. The entire faction unit, all the melee units, get fifteen extra armor. Uh, One hundred percent magic item drop chance. Pretty good. Let's get an item after every battle. Uh, minus 25% chance for melee units, uh, upkeep, sorry, minus 25% chance, but, uh, minus 25% upkeep for melee units for um, uh, his army, and then Harmony Yang, so this is the other main feature of the cafe, which is Yin and Yang, Yin, yin and Yang, um, basically if you keep those two balanced, you have exactly the same of each, you get like large bonuses, uh, but it is fairly difficult, I suppose, to, to keep those as such. Uh, we're playing on Hard Heart. This is where we start. We'll have a look at the actual proper map again in a minute. Um, other than that, I think we're all good to go. So let's remove my face. Uh, actually, no. First we get the fucking loading screen again. I made this mistake yesterday, too. Shake my head, my fucking head. Three Kingdoms and Warhammer. The fuck? I thought you were playing Sugar 2. Only playing Sugar 2. You, well, you haven't checked out my channel then. I've played literally every Total War game, except for Medieval 1 and Shogun 1, surprisingly. Uh, let me end this fucking poll about the, uh, that was a joke thing, about the, the thumbnail. Um, if only your armor was more useful. Eh, it still adds up, right? 15 armor? Are you done playing? H how? Uh, am I done playing Shogun 2? No, obviously not. What kind of a question is it? Can you play a Cao Cao in this? <laughs> it's a pretty loading screen. It is a cool loading screen. Alright, cutscene time. Grand Cafe. A vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the Storm Dragon. I am Duchess. the gods themselves. You I am also calm, F.A., but it's just a dumb purpose. question. When people say there is no such thing as dumb questions, they're this wrong. Map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, These people but the have never visited YouTube before. My younger sister, Shen Tzu, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan mountains, but was lost. Without her... Without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you, Iron Dragon? There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Ursen, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursen, lead you to him before it's too late. 
for one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. Are you asking if I'm going to stream Shogun 2 after this? In which case, no. And march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shenzhou is returned to you. It's not a phase, Mom. Our goal is clear. To find the lost sister, we must hear the God Bear's testament before he passes into myth. Uh, there is a max turns limit in terms of uh, embargo time. We're allowed to play up to turn 50 as of right now on both the embargoes. You are amazing! My sister nice assumes it is her right to hear the Bear God's testament. But you will help me reach Earth Yes, Sun I'll be first. Mr. Purple. I I'll check in a minute. I will guide you to the Dying God. You require a Grand Legion, and for that your traditional lands must be tamed. Rat men have always infested the Warpstone Desert, but the God's roar has emboldened them. Destroy these Clan Eshin pests. Destroy Furthermore, these clan Ashen cunts. Yang has left a power vacuum that rebels have now filled. The insolence. They must suffer the dragon's wrath. Once the desert is yours, the Tower of Ash Share shall come under your dominion. The caravan routes under its control will give you the riches required for the dread expedition into the Chaos Realm. Beware the great Maw, for the ogres mistake this pit for a god. Yet even further south, you shall find more enemies eager to invade. Disharmony blights Grand Cathay, mighty Zhao Ming. If you are to find Ursin, you must restore the balance. Only then will the Dragon Emperor look upon you with fondness. The Warpstone Desert. All right. Uh, sorry, let me quickly check the embargo because um, that was a question I was asked. The embargo for what was it Nurgle you asked is on the twenty seventh of January. Um, Nurgle and Zinch unlock uh, the same one, so that's that's one week from now. Uno Wico, as they say, somewhere probably. Right, the Western provinces. How they play? Harmony. Oh, let me turn this on. All aspects of development in Cafe are aligned with Yin or Yang. Bonuses are earned and penalties are suffered based on the balance between the two. The Wuxing Compass. The Wuxing Compass influences the flow of the winds of magic around the Cafe and homelands. The rulers of the Celestial Empire... Thank you for the sub. ...may use its power to bolster their defenses, enrich their lands, and divert harmful magic away to the desert. The Ivory Road. Cafean factions can send trade caravans to the west along the perilous Ivory Road. Choices will have to be made and challenges overcome if expeditions are to be successful. Cuckoo Coolio. Alright, we've got to murder some Clan Eshin guys. We can definitely do that. We get an alchemist for that, which is kind of interesting. Because we have that thing where if we recruit alchemists, they turn up with plus 5 ranks. So I don't know if this one's going to turn up five, plus 5 ranks as well. If not, we probably just get rid of them and recruit a new one. Although we probably can't. Anyway, um, so first of all, someone asked, I think it was Valabash, to have a look at the, the campaign map again. So here it is in all its glory. Um, uh, again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I've already looked at it last time too. And there's not a whole lot to see as of right now because we haven't discovered anyone yet. So let's have a look at the, the unique um, campaign mechanic. So first of all, we have the yin and yang or harmony mechanic, um, which is the balance between yin and yang. So as you can see, we're currently getting plus three from characters. I don't actually know. I couldn't find this last time. Where to like see how much... Oh, here you go. Harmony plus three. Um, but yeah, so we're getting plus three from that. So we're currently not getting any bonuses. It, there's no... Actually, no, we are getting bonuses. Sorry. There's no real downsides to it. We just get an income reduction from yang buildings. We get an increase from yin buildings. We get diplomatic bonus with cafe factions, growth, construction, cost reduction for yin buildings. Um, because we have too much yang, basically. But if we have them completely equal, the, all the bonuses become way better. So we get 20 diplomatic bonus uh, with cafe factions. We get minus 
construction costs for all buildings, plus 40 growth, income from beyond buildings and yin buildings, 25%, control plus 8, corruption minus 5% uh, across all provinces, and then the army ability ancestral warriors for all armies. So basically you want to have them, like it's not really a big deal to not have them in harmony, but if you do have them in harmony, you just get real, like massive bonuses, which is pretty cool. Uh, our starting army, by the way, we have Zhao Ming. The reason I want to play him, and I uh, I kind of talked about what I really like the breath attacks in 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 War, Warhammer. Like I, you know, I have very little experience with them, but I always enjoyed all the breath attacks in every campaign that I ever played. Uh, and this guy starts with one, um, which is, is this one, Dragon's Breath, uh, and he can use this while in his dragon form as well, which makes sense because it's Dragon's Breath. Um, so yeah, basically just constantly get to do, you know, you're very strong already while in your dragon form and then you get to constantly blast um, a wind um, or breath spell as well. It's just pretty fucking cool. And of course you can, you know, turn into a dragon. We also have Plague of Rust. Cool. Um, right, so that's him. We also have two units of Jade Warriors. We have two I units of Peasant lo Long Spearmen. We have three units of Peasant Archers. Uh, a great Longma Riders. 125 armor, but 110 normally, but we got 15 extra. Uh, and then the fire rain rocket. This thing is fucking baller. Um, you can already see the stats there. 12 ammunition, 360 range, 622 missile strength. It just like destroys shit. It's very expensive, obviously, at 325. Um, but yeah, it is incredible. I am half tempted to get rid of this unit pretty soon because it is decent, but for 281, I'm not sure if that's really worth. Anyway, auto mechanics. We have the ivory road system. Uh, right, I'm not gonna. Read that, I've already done that multiple times. So, basically, we start off with a caravan. You can recruit multiple, uh, or new caravans as well, if you want. And they all have their own starting army. So this one starts with a couple of pretty elite units, I think. And then five long spearmen, five archers. Um, but we don't want that right now. I get rid of that. I don't want this anymore. Go away. Um, that's annoying. How do I go back? There you go. So, this is our current caravan that we do have, which is led by Yun Tan, uh, a couple of Jade Warriors, thanks for the sub, by the way. A couple of Peasant Long Spearmen, Peasant Archers, and Jade Lancers. This is a pretty good unit, by the way. We can actually rename these units. We don't pay upkeep for these units, I'm pretty sure. Um, otherwise, our income would be absolutely terrible. Um, but we do have, uh, basically, this option to give them cargo. So, 1,200 cargo, up to 1,200 cargo. We have the, the increase of, I think, 25% or something from our faction. And the more we give it, the more it will sell for in, in uh, other regions. So, um, I, so far, whenever I played this, at least in the beginning, I just maxed it out, basically, and then sent it on its way to one that is, like, valuable. So, for example, to go to here, it takes us five turns, and it gets us 4.2 grand. If we go here, it takes us seven turns, but it gets less money. Now, you know, depending on who you're friendly with, uh, you might it might be a safer route, but there might be no enemies on the way. But as of right now, we have a high threat everywhere. We're going to be attacked by ogres, basically. Um, so you basically just want to take the shortest route that makes you the most money as well. Can't send them to these ones. Don't get any money from that. And then, of course, the further you go, the more money you get. But this takes 10 turns. So we get 5.6 grand for 10 turns or 4.2 for 5 turns. And then we can just send another one again after that. So I'm just going to max this out. And then, of course, the more crow you have, the more money you make from it as well. So we're just going to send it to uh, Frozen Landing. It takes uh, five turns. We have these units. Uh, and if we do, get, if they get into a battle, we get to play that ourselves, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to immediately dispatch that. On your way you go. Now, I don't know if this goes, uh, if we unlock more of them later on. But as of right now, we can only have one of these active at a time. How about his corruption? Do we have any corruption yet? Um, no, we have zero corruption. Although... Yeah, there's... There's some minus ones. I don't know if that means we actually have corruption going or something, but... Um, are there any rumors about which DLC factions are coming out? I don't think so. The Wuxing Compass. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute as well. Um, Honma Raiders and Fire Rocket Shogun 2. Thank you, you're my favorite to the war guy. Congrats on the growing family. Thanks, Alamadi. Uh, Alright, cool. So then we have uh, the Wuxing Compass. We can't actually do anything with this until, I think, three turns from now? Four turns from now. Um, so essentially we get to pick something uh, that we want. So if we set it to the Great Bastion, I don't know how this like goes up or something. We'll figure it out as we play, I guess. I haven't played enough with these factions to know. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the higher we, we have it, we get um, uh, certain things from it. And it, this is like always, so it's always active. So we get uh, plus five, 500 defensive supplies, plus 2% casualty rate per region and cafe. If we then activate it, which we can do in four turns, we get some other stuff as well. Ooh, and Bob oh, that's a lot of that. That's a, that's a lot of damage. 
Um, and then we got the Celestial Lake, which gives us growth always, and then income from buildings and chance of uh, Winds of Magic increasing its strength um, if we activate it. The Dragon Emperor's Wrath, control per region. Um, extreme Attrition applied to armies beyond the Great Bastion, and then unlocked when energy reserve is full. Okay, so we have to actually max that out, I guess. Uh, and then Warp Sun Desert, which gives nothing when it's active, but it, if you uh, if it's not active, but if it, if you activate it. Um, then Winds of Magic will steadily decrease in strength, Corruption minus 4 per region in cafe, and Enemy Leadership minus 6 per region in cafe, local enemy armies. So we'll, we'll figure this out in 4 turns when I can actually choose and see how this works. I guess we can see here. Uh, directing the compass fills the respective energy reserve, the greater the energy reserve, the larger the benefits are. However, the energy reserve of all directions will decay over time. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Um, so I think that's basically all of our stuff for now. Um, things look like a Kraken Mall and Sarlat. Where is that thing? Can we? Oh, here it is. It's so lovely. It looks like a fucking World of Warcraft. Um, one of those. I don't know if you guys played. Wow. But yeah, just those things that kind of look like that. And then there's like those scarabs and shit inside. Um. Right. So we have some technology. Let's have a look at that as well. Um. We have multiple parts of this essentially but you have to unlock previous shit to get further into it so we basically initially get to start for or with harmony and peasant uh, long spearman unit leadership we have armor for peasant long spearman and harmony yin and then ammunition for peasant archers now of course as i said our faction is really melee focused uh yeah we'll look at diplomacy in a minute as well we have um uh, we have extra armor and we have also reduced upkeep for, for um, although that's only for the main army, for infantry, melee infantry units. So we kind of want to focus on that. But there's also the yin-yang mechanic in combat, which I haven't looked at yet. So we have this here. Um, basically, every unit has either yin or yang attached to it. Uh, and if they are within 45 meters of the opposite unit, they get bonuses like leadership and melee defense in this case. Or if you have the archers, they are a yin unit. So basically all range units are yin, all melee units are yang. Uh, they get reload skill increased and then leadership uh, increased as well. Uh, and the intensity increased uh, increases by the highest nearby harmony multiplier on a unit. Now, I know if you play as Miao Ying, you have a straight up... Oh, he does it as well. So he straight up has a plus 100% 100 uh, increase. So you just get 200%, So which means that we would indeed get um, 12 leadership and 12 melee defense. And then these guys get 24 uh, reload skill, which is pretty baller. Um, so yeah, basically you want to always have like... Yin units together with Yang units, so you get the the buffs constantly. Um, oh, there's our caravan, by the way. He's uh, he's on his way. Uh, anyway, right. So other stuff we get because uh, I want to actually choose something. I think I want to go gr for growth pretty early on. Growth's pretty decent. Corruption minus one, probably quite important because we are fairly close to the whole chaos situation. This seems good. More armor, just basically buff up all of our units. Hero action cost. That's not bad early on. Uh, this also gets us closer to Yin, so that's something worth looking at as well. But I think we'll, we'll head for growth first. We'll get that drill training, leadership for peasants. Eh, not great, oh but God. sure. Um, Alright, then we have buildings. I think we're going to remove this building, because we uh, we're going to take this place pretty quickly. Not sure if we take it right away, but maybe. I think so, because this guy's in the way. Uh, which means I can re remove this building right away, because I know that one has it too, because I've played this a little bit before. But as of right now, we get to recruit Jade Warriors from here. Um, so we have a bunch of recruit buildings. I mean, you, you guys know how it works. Um, lots of different types of units. I'm sure which uh, some of these I would be using throughout the campaign. The Great Longma Riders. Are they the ones I'm currently using? Great Longma Riders, they are. They cost 281, because they're a melee unit, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Uh, over here we have our Jade Warrior Crossbowmen, Jade Warriors Halberds, Jade Warrior Crossbowmen Shields. These guys are basically just like all oh, your basic infantry. Pretty solid though. Uh, but yeah, we, we, this goes up to tier 3, so we want this in a minor settlement. Uh, and then of course we get all of our special shit as well. Celestial Dragon Guard, Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen. Um, we have Terracotta Sentinel, our, our single entity. And then of course the Sky Junk unit as well, so Sky Lantern. Good stuff. Uh, of course we have all of our Garrison shit. Um, and corruption reduction perhaps useful going into as well again because we are quite close and here's some more buildings that are yin and yang focused so each one of these will get give you either yang or yin and if you take the yang one for example the yin one can no longer be built in that province so that's if I take the yin one it's the other way around so these two are linked these two are linked and these two are linked 
um, which you can kind of see from the icons as well. Well, these these two look like each other. These two look like each other. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we get growth, construction, um, cost reduction, and yang. And then it says prevents construction of the tea parlor, which is this building here. Also gives growth and income from all buildings. Then we have income generated 50. It's pretty crap. Or 75. And uh, income from trade. Why is this one so fucking horrible? Oh, right. It gets better over time. So this one ends up on 225. But we do get... Um, the 5% is from currently having increased uh, from yin buildings. So... If we, if you know, if we manage to get that equal, then it's just twenty five percent for both. So I don't, I shouldn't have to take that into consideration. I think the the income from trade overall would probably be worth it if you build multiple of these. Uh, and then we have uh, a control building which gives a recruitment rank for peasant long spearmen and peasant archers. Uh, our control casualty replenishment rate and then recruitment cost reduction for those two same units. But I won't be recruiting many of those because they're disgusting peasants. Why would I want those? Um, so I think for the moment, uh, we want to definitely build a total of five recruitment buildings here. So that would give us another two building slots available. I'm not sure what exactly I would want, but I think for the moment it's a safe bet to just go for more money. So I'm going to go for the spice market, which gives us yin as well, which we do want to get. We want to get two more yin so I can uh, I can become equal. And we're going to demolish this building, but let's do some battles first. Uh, diplomacy, before we jump into battles, we have some diplomacy to do. Let's get some trade going. Uh, especially if I'm going to be increasing my, my money uh, for trade. So, let's see if I can get a little bit more money from these bozos. 335, sounds good. Then we have the Burning Wind Nomads, which are to my east. I might actually be attacking people around here as well, but... Some of them might die to the... Uh, I mean, there's a... Blue Vipers Greenskins next to me, so... This is not going to work, is it? Oh, definitely not. Let's go down to 70. 69. No. Okay, then we'll just drop down to 65. I was up. Really? So I think 69 would be the, the right number. Alright. A little bit more money. We've got the Northern Princes, Provinces, which is uh, Miao Yang herself. But she doesn't want to trade unless I pay her a bunch. But I'm not that interested in trade. We have the Ogre Kingdoms to our south. Which, again, I think I might, if I can trade, I will just get it going. Uh, but that's it. They don't want to trade. To war, then. Uh, I think that's about all I've got for now. So let's do a battle, shall we? Our first of many battles. Cool. So we have against us a warlord, clan rats with shields, two clan rats, two skaven slaves. Sounds good. Let's do a battle. Um... You also get charge resistance when standing still, yes. Don't you have a starting hero somewhere? Not yet, but I will get one from killing this, or fighting this uh, battle. Is the video quality not so good? It should be 1440p. Can only watch in 240p. Oh, that's... Is that just him, or does everyone else have that problem too? Let me watch my own stream so I can see. No, mine, mine's in 1440p. That might be, just be you. Oh, sorry. Alright, cool. Uh, I definitely want to show you guys this unit. Unfortunately, the map's kind of annoying because we're fighting uphill, which means this thing won't be that effective, but it'll probably still be really good. So we can see the yin-yang thing as well um, in action. So you can see, like, if I take him over here, the icon is just only yang, uh, and this one is yin. But if I put him next to the archers, then all of those units who are in range of that get buffed uh, by it, which is really, really solid. So let's get... A bit of a line going here. Let's actually just, just do it like this, like a normal person. Then we got the archers. We got our big artillery piece, which I have in range already. Perfect. We got these guys who I, again, might get rid of. I feel like they're just kind of expensive for what they do right now. And then we got our transformation here. Uh, do I channel magic? Yeah, fuck it. Let's give it a try. Oh, nice. We went down. Good. Um, and then, we, yeah, we got our dragon's breath and our plague of rust. I'm actually gonna put him up because I'm going to um, I'm gonna head towards them whilst in dragon form, unless they immediately come towards me. Either way, we can still do some dragon breathing. Oh, here we go. So there you go. We we fucking barely hit, and it still killed. I mean, these are scaven slaves, but still, it, it killed quite a few of them. Okay, I'm gonna cheeky dragon's breath off before I even get into my form. Not bad. 
have some regular clan rats. Let's turn into a fucking dragon, shall we? Boom! Oh, that was actually... With the uh, the shots going through it, that actually looked pretty baller. Alright, calm control him for a little bit. Get out of there! Alright, we got our archers firing. Probably should get out of the way, because I'm just going to get shot by my own men right now. Not exactly what we want. I might wait to use this before I get into actual... Until they get into the line, basically. Ooh, good volley right there. Let's get you into these clan rats over here, shall we? Okay, let's do a cheeky... Breath right there. Look at that! Look at all that damage! Alright, just jump in there. We turn back into a, a normal person if he wants. Fucking look at all that. Oh, there goes the Lord. Straight into the sword unit. Whoopsie daisy. Alright. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I think I need to set the resolution myself to be able to view it at 1440p. Looks like okay breath. I mean, yeah. But that's good enough for me. That's a little starting ability. Unfortunately, all the enemies are fucking gone. Oh, there's one over here. Let's go kill them with cheeky breath. Actually, maybe I should just focus on them now. Just win the battle. I'm just losing men for no reason. Let's get you guys out of here. Did you do anything? 49 kills. You know what? You can actually kill some of these uh, units that are returning to battle. To battle! That's a lot of damage! I can burn some... Throw some fire on my peasant archers. Peasant spearmen! Order. Peasant spearmen. Okay, this... You're getting a, this guy's getting a little annoying. Do you mind just fighting me one-on-one, -on -one, dragon versus rat? What do you say? Alright. It's just waiting for him to route at this point. Let's get you guys out of there. You know what? Take some fucking breathing. Yeah, that does nothing. Get out of there, I said. You pieces of shit. You as well. Fuck it. 1v1 me. This is way more difficult than it needs to be. There he goes. Now he's gonna drop. Finally! Alright, cool. Let's get out of here before I do friendly fire to myself. Hello, Neutron. How are you doing, buddy? Might be better having him fight the Lord in human form. Maybe, but... You know... Human, dragon, human, dragon... I feel like the choice is obvious. Watch out for Skaven, they want their holy land. They'll never get it. Alright, our first victory. Oh, now we have normal choices. Oof. Um, we don't really want replenish. Well, we don't need replenishment. Do I take the money? Yeah, I don't really care about that. Oh, what's this? Magic missiles, ability bolt storm, thirty-three percent, thirty-three range damage. It's, that seems really shit. Or am I just crazy? Either way, I'll try it out. Um, it's only for one turn. Yeah, let's take it. That animation's pretty sick. Dragon. Wicked sick. Right, so we get an alchemist now. Riddle me this, Batman alchemist. Are you level five? Fucking Jesus Christ! Missions up the wazoo. Right, so this guy, this person is level one, which kind of sucks because again we get to recruit level um, level five once, but yeah, we can't get it until we get an alchemist tower, which I'm guessing. Cancel that for a second. Is uh, is that this one? Yes. So we can't get him for a little while ourselves, so, you know, I'll keep this one for now. Let's rebuild the uh, the money-making building. Uh, let's pop you in there, because that gets us more money, I believe. We got 500 buccarinas from that. Alright, we got some items. Let's have a look at those. We got Nuku Cho's crossbow, which is the uh, Bolt Storm ability. You're playing Warmer Free. Very nice indeed. I also had a haircut, so I look like... Looks like a little bum. Um, yeah, I also had a haircut today, actually. I don't know if he's talking about me. <laughs> um, 
I think human is better. I, I'll try human. I, sure. Uh, I, yeah, I played, I played Warhammer 3 yesterday too, Night Heaven, so go watch that if you want. Well, or watch this one first and then watch that one afterwards. Lots of watching. Uh, we got upkeep reduction for Jade Warriors and Jade Warrior Helberts. We have a couple of Jade Helberts already. Or, sorry, we have Jade Warriors already. Uh, not the Helbert version yet, but hey, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll try that Bullstorm. I have no idea how well that's going to go. I can't actually reach the town. Is that because I sent her in here? Was I not able to reach anyway? No, she can definitely reach us. She's not reducing my movement, right? No, I just can't get in there. Fair enough. Oh, this increases the movement range. Oh, I can't do this now because I've already... Oh, right. That's a bit of a mistake. Um, fair enough. You win some, you lose some. So I can't get there. So do I just sit here? I think I will. Uh, I could do the scout ruins, but we know there's fucking Skaven there, so what's the point? Um, right, so I guess I don't remove this if I want to recruit some units right now. They're only 84 bucks per turn, so yeah, we can get a couple of these and then we'll remove it next turn, I guess. Makes sense. Uh, I don't think we've got any new diplomacy to do. My sister doesn't want to trade. Fucking sisters. It's my sister's birthday in real life today. In case you're wondering. I know you guys were all- you all have that uh, the question on your mind. Oh, I wonder when Donkey's ber sister's birthday is. Uh, recruit two new- yeah, we get a mission complete from that as well. And then I think the next mission will be to take Shen Wu, so it makes sense to recruit units right now. Okay, cool. Um, yes, let's get out of here. Good timing, yeah. The, uh, the barbers were closed until a couple days ago. Because we were basically in a full lockdown again. Capture and occupy Shen Wu, and we get the terrifying mask of E. So, you know, in case you're wondering what we get from that. Go, cool, let's go take Shen Wu. Oh no, it's Skaven. Who the funk that? Uh, we can auto resolve this one pretty easily, or we can fight it. I think we'll just fight it. We get to try out our lovely new uh, alchemist who has an ability, Searing Doom, and also we got that new item, which. We can use that as well, the Bolt Storm. I want to see if that's any good, because it sounds really shit. Uh, it is a clear out of resolve, but let's just fight it. Settlement battle. E. Best wishes for your sister. Thank you. I knew it was a birthday I was forgetting. It all makes sense now. I enjoy your content. Thank you, Spewny. Um, who's the leader of Clan Eshin? E. I, I, I don't know. I just jumped at that E. <laughs> These are obviously beastmen. <laughs> they are... You're not wrong. Uh, are we going to risk it again? No, let's just stick to the 12. Alright, so... I wonder if I can use this while in, whilst in dragon form. It is literally a crossbow, so I'd imagine not, but it's worth trying. I get... How many uses do I get? It doesn't say. It's just a cooldown. So, yeah, we can use it as many times as we want. So we'll just use it once right away. And then wait for the cooldown. Uh, right, we can attack from this side. Or, alternatively, we can attack from this side. Two id- wait, are they identical sides? No, they're not identical. Um, I Actually, when I played this before, I attacked from here. I don't know. I, I started from here. I don't know why it puts me on the other side this time. But let's do it. Let's do it from this side again. Fuck it. My We're going to split up. Uh, one of- each of you gets- one of these phenomenal spearmen. Then we'll plop, plop one archer here, two archers here. And then we'll have these guys just sit here for fun. You get to just sit here for fun. Uh, and then we have a fucking dragon. You can join this group, you can join this group. And that's it. Lovely stuff. Yes! All right. Yes! Sorry, that was very loud. I know it's too late to say sorry after the fact, but I do apologize. Got a little overexcited there. Alright, cool. Uh, I want to use this thing. Can I do it? Take this, you little clan, clan rat dickhead. Phew. Oh, that was not even... I didn't even hit! Are you fucking kidding me right now? What was that? Did that unit just take a hit from this, this thing? I'm pretty sure it did. Alright, you need to move up as well. Because your ability is actually pretty pretty decent as well. Um, I think I'll hold off because I'm about to 
Hold on, archers, you guys not start firing right now. Fight a six! You, are you doing anything today? You guys are walking, I'm supposed to be running. <laughs> I like how this, they know it. What are you? Peasant archers! Ah, we're not very good, but... Alright, here we go. Give me a cheeky little breath. Breathe on them, like you've never breathed before. Boom! Look at that fucking health, dude. Now, whoop yourself in there. Oh, it looks like I can use this while out of... Or uh, while um, in Dragon Form. That's pretty cool. Because the Plague of Rust ability just sort of disappears, so that one you can't use for sure. Get in there. You are going to use some magic on them. You fucked them up real quick. You go capture that point. Wait, no, don't do that. Go like that. Move in formation. Oh shit, they got a tower as well. I forgot that's a thing. Thanks for the sub, whomever that was. Um, breathe on these dickheads real quick, and then we'll uh, go destroy some towers. They better not move. Oh, there it is. Boom! Look at that! Absolutely phenomenal. That's why I love that shit. Night runners. We probably don't want to send you over there actually by yourself, so let's hold off on that. Right, you get to do some cheeky magic as well. Right there. I want to actually witness this one. Look at that. It's not bad either. That's pretty good. That's an alchemist for you. Alright, two archers. Let's get you guys over here. There's some uh, night runners coming in. You get to go capture that now. Oh, you're, you're on your way. I don't need to tell you to do that again. Uh, I don't think you're doing a whole lot, but let's try and get you into a better position. Maybe we can get a volley off on those night runners. Maybe you can help out as well. Send you over here. You Did I not tell you to attack the tower? Well, whatever. You're over here now. Warriors. Oh shit, yeah, the Night Rose will fuck me up. I did not think about that. Um, oh, cheeky breath on them. Oh, that was pretty good. The fact that they stayed there worked out pretty well. We got archers going into them as well. You go in there as well. It's gonna be fantastic. I could use that though. Okay, go over here. And then you guys try and follow up on that. Lots of towers they've got. Incredibly annoying. How could you? Ooh. Ooh, I'm seeing a pretty beautiful uh, opportunity for a cheeky breath over here. Come on. Give me this. Give me this. Yeah. Oh, that's somewhat disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, you can't capture this because you're flying unit. I already got to capture this shit sooner rather than later because we're taking like two tower shots over here. Are you doing anything yet? Probably not. Probably right, fucked another unit up here. Mess them up for me, you as well. For the moon dragon. Have we won yet? Cavalry. All right, you guys capture this point already. Where's my archer? There you are. Get over here. Bringing harmony. Move in formation. Okay. I think it's time to go grieve on someone again. Uh, first of all, give me this one. I'm actually almost out of mana. Mana? Eh, winds of magic, mana, same thing. Alright, well that unit was going to, going to route anyway, so it feels a bit like a waste, but... Oh! We captured this point. Let's get going, boys. Straight up there. Um... What have we got? Night Runners? Let's not get you nearby them, because they will fuck you up. Oh, you're still not flying. Go this way, boys. Where are you at? Oh, you, we've already dealt with that, right? Get in there! Oh, here comes the volley. That might just straight up hit them. Not too shabby! Alright, send yourself in there. I got one more breath available as well. If I need it. I think we're just gonna route them all, to be honest. We all make mista mistakes in the heat of passion. Wait, what, what was my mistake? Missing the start of the stream because you forgot... Because you forget you're an hour behind Dutch time. Feels bad, man. Rip. Big rip. Settlement feels way too big for the kind of settlement level of 4 star. Yeah, no, I... It's one of the things as well, is that... 
the AI doesn't really seem to use their units too effectively. Um, let's go fuck these guys up. Um, like, they're usually split up all over the place. Like, there's several units over here that, if they were in the actual combat, might have actually helped out a little bit. I don't really want to cast it right now. This seems super good. Although, hold on. While these guys are running through each other. Get a little bit of both of them. Come on, boys. Let's fuck them up already. You might want to just, you know, join us too. As, as would you. Or should you. Jade Warriors. Right. Let's try this out then. Let's go into human form. Also, I can't... Well, actually, I think he was in combat. That's why I wasn't using it. Let's go in human form. Oi, don't go anywhere, you little rat dickhead. If you're just gonna stand there, I will follow you a little bit. But... Oh god, not like that! Oh my word, that was a that was very painful. Would you mind not doing that? Face the other way. Fuck me, that was painful, dude. I definitely lost some men there. <laughs> Alright, this better work out. Produce its armor. Oh, it's gonna rot. Come on, slap him. There's a fucking rat in the way. Oh, what's that? Boom! Alright, he's routed. That's it, surely. There we go. That was way more painful than it should have been. <laughs> but I'll take it. Classic John. Right, was, what was my mistake? What was, who was Jimbo? And uh, what the fuck did they say to me, little bitch? Um, <laughs> That's not been just gave these parts for a thousand years! Um, I don't even see a message from a certain Jinbo, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh, I don't know. Um, Dragons is a magical s skill. It has a set cooldown just like Warmer 2 Dragons. It I seems like it. What? Alright, we lost 68 guys. It wasn't actually that bad. I think the most <laughs> damage we took was that last hit in the face of my own unit, though. 178 kills. You know what? These guys might stick around anyway. They're fairly good at m murdering weak units, I guess, but... Scroll of Blast. Nice. Um, a one-time use, 500 range damage, 70% of which is arm-piercing, magical, and fire. Good against armor, good penetration. 100... Range, meter range. Uh, it's I like how it has a 60 second cooldown, but it's only got one use. Sure. I will occupy this place. Thank you very much. I revealed some Skaven. My goodness. We got Cheeky Blast. Um, I think I may have also leveled up after the last battle, and then I totally forgot to level them up. Could, I could have gotten Root Mark. No, wait, did I not level up? Hold on. I may have, only, I may have leveled up twice just now. Oh my god, stop. Um... Rank gained free. No, I guess I did rank up before. And I could have gotten Root Marcher. Maybe I could have reached this place last turn. Did I really make a, that massive mistake early on? I don't know. Anyway, we got the terrifying mask of... E. Um, it's actually... Is an, this is an enchanted item. Or an arcane item, sorry. And this is a weapon. So we can actually use both of these things. So I've got Bolt Storm now. Fucking Blast. And then also I can cause fear and terror. I have a feeling that I may already do so in my dragon form. Although it doesn't say... Wait, does it say here? No. Um, I mean, I'd be pretty terrified of a dragon, but I'm also a little bit of a pussy. So, who knows? Uh, I I mean, I'll probably... I kind of don't want to equip it, because I want to I want to see first if it, if it does. So I'll wait until next battle, basically, before I equip it. Uh, anyway, we've got a level up. So I think we definitely take... A root marcher. Um, highest pitched E you can make. Uh, it's it's what I did earlier. E! That's about as high as I can go. Which isn't very high at all. Uh, I noticed, yeah, this guy has some cre pretty crazy uh, things. He, um, he has a 5% ward save in 30 feet, 5 meters around him indefinitely. It's pretty good. 50% weapon strength for all melee units. Pretty good. 10% melee attack for all melee units. Pretty good. Uh, I think I'm still going to go for Inspiring Presence first. Because these numbers sound really good. But if you actually look at the units. Like 10% melee um, melee attack. You just grab a random Jade Warrior. They have 26. So that would be an extra 
you know, it's something, but it's not like, holy shit, 10%, that sounds insane. So let's just pick up Inspiring Presence for now. Power. Get the extra experience rolling. Such power. POWER! Sorry. Um, right, so now we can get rid of this, because we already have one here. Uh, and then I think I'll just upgrade this. More money for me, please. It doesn't actually get you more yin. It still sticks to just the one in. One in? One yin. Um, what else do we do? Did the alchemist not rank up from that? I'm sorry. What the fuck are you doing? Um, do you want the item, though? You can use the item. Okay, I feel like that's not super helpful for you. With two or more units in the same army, share this attribute intensity increases the power of spells cast. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Because we both have that. So what might be worth... Who the fuck is you? Oh, you're the other guy. Might be worth actually keeping the, her in the army anyway. But I just do feel two spellcasters is always a bit overkill. Because you've only got one pool of into magic. But. Anyway. Oh my god, City of Monkeys. New favorite location. There it is. We're, we're gonna take it. Take it for the elves. Um, we have just a one mission. Just a one mission, actually. Our victory conditions, by the way, is to complete all the realms. Uh, only then can you fight and win the final battle at the Swords of Falls. The what? The Souls of Forge. The Forge of Souls. Uh, or a domination campaign victory, which is to destroy everyone and maintain a whole bunch of shit. Sounds good. Do Cafe have immunity to desert attrition? Uh, would that be like... Where would you find that information usually? It's not on the actual actual units, is it? No idea. Uh, either way, if, if there would normally be desert attrition, but there isn't now, then I think yes. I, I guess. I don't know if there's a way to find out about that. I don't, I'm not well acquainted enough with Warhammer games right now to, to know that shit. Anyway, uh, I think I'll recruit some more units. Now, it's really, it's, it's kind of awkward, right? Because I can recruit these peasant archers. They cost 112 bucks per turn, and they're like a lower tier unit than the Jade Warriors. It's like, actually, they're the same tier, technically. They're tier one, but is this tier? Yeah. Um... Yeah, Jade Warriors do so much more value right now. But Peasant Archers, I mean, it's just useful having Archers in the army as well. But I think I'm just going to go two more Jade Warriors. I also don't really want any more Jade or a hat. Peasant Long Spearmen. Because Jade Warriors are pretty baller. These guys are expendable. Gosh, you suck. Um, they also have Formation Attack. We'll try to stay in Formation when in melee. That's pretty cool. Cool. Should be where your flag is above the map. Here. So, no? Unless it's like a different thing. Or do you mean like this stuff? Like the suitable climates for us. Whatever whatever it is. I've looked at it now, so you can answer your own question. Do I want to do deploy? Do you want to trade yet? Hey, there we go. Trade with my sister. Wait, hold on. These are rebel lords. What? Oh, these are, that's not my This is my sister. She still doesn't want to trade. The piece of shit. I don't know if I want to trade with rebel lords. Uh, that's these guys. Are you at war anyone? You're at war with the northern provinces, which means you'll probably die soon, because that's my sister. That's my sister! Alright, cool. I'll, uh, well, I mean, I can still trade with them anyway, just to get a cheeky bit of money before they die, right? Yeah. Surely they will die, so I may as well get the money out of them now. Pay me 90 bucks. Pay me a hundred bucks. Make it a, make it a nice even hundred. What do you say? Good deal. All right, cool. Let's end this godforsaken turn. Let's see if we get attacked in our um, uh, our caravan. That's the word I was looking for. Yes. Um. This is interesting. So we are being pulled in to join the Redhorn tribe, a beastman army, to fight against the Dissenter Lords of Jinshen, which is another caravan. Um, which also, interestingly enough, has Empire units in it. I don't think I want to. I don't. Why would I join this? Why would I get? Why would I fight against? If these guys aren't going to fight me, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Good luck with that. 
Alright, they all died. Faction destroyed Red Horn Tribe. <laughs> they are like, yeah, alright, we'll fight them together, let's go! And they're like, yeah, no, I'm gonna sit this one out. Oh, well, I guess I'm dead now. Good job. Alright. Um, so is, is our caravan, is this, no, that's not mine. I think mine moved on another turn, so it must be further this way. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. <laughs> Who knows? I certainly don't. Pretty sure... Oh, there it is. Yeah, mine's over here. So that is actually... Yeah, that is an enemy. That's the one that just fought. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Um... It's hilarious. The beastmen are tricky. They, uh... They're not the smartest, are they? Right, anyway. Buildings. Do you have anything to do? We can build something new. Um... We are about to gain a growth, but we need two, so that's not going to matter. Uh, yeah, but we could build that anyway. Um, right, so I need five slots open for recruitment, what I said. So I could get a recruitment building. I'm just thinking maybe I want to get something different. I don't think I care about either of these ones. We don't really need control because I'm not playing a legendary. Um, so I can go for growth and income from all buildings or growth and construction cost reduction. Construction cost reduction will definitely add up to quite a bit over time, I'm sure. And the growth is always useful. But alternatively, we can get some other units like Iron Hill Gunners, which have short range but are high damage. We got artillery. Um, of course, we need to get to tier 3 first before we get these units, but still. I think it might be more logical that I would get some Jade Lancers, just a, an okay cab unit, I guess. Um, and they're cheaper and everything because of our army. Um, I don't think I'd use Peasant Horman, Horseman, uh, Horman? I'm sorry. Uh, alternatively, we get to unlock Astromancers and Alchemists, or the Sky Lantern. I'm just thinking, because of course I'm going to get one more building slot as well. Um, so do I want multiple of these units? I think I'm okay. I think for now I'll just go for, um, is it construction cost or income from all buildings in the local province? I don't think I want that, so I'm, I'm going to go for... This is going to be recruitment province, so I think we go for... Good old Yang. Plus 40 growth from Harmony. Yeah, I do want to get... I do... Actually, that's a good point. Uh, I have two from characters now. Why did I... What? Wait, hold on. Why? You gave free, right? Yeah, you get free. Is it? Oh, because you give one yin. Right, that counts each other. Right. Okay, hold on. So if we if we build one yin building right now, we actually do get that. Which I think I wait. But hold on. Um. Hmm. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to get a building here as well. I don't really like this, but this building's not really got great for us because we don't really make a lot of money from this. But it does give us the um, the unity thing, and then we can always remove it later on. I guess we'd be well, we'd be spending four hundred seventy-five bucks, which isn't even a lot, and we're gonna get like a lot of bonuses from it. So I think you're right. I think we actually go for the yin right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for yin. And that will get us to even numbers, unless something changes again. But I don't see that happening. Now, do I want to group more units? Um, let's have a look at the City of Monkeys garrison. That is a decent garrison. Peasant stuff mostly. Jade Warrior crossmen are alright. Jade Warriors halberds. Uh, not making a ton of money. I kind of want to get one more Peasant Archer. Uh, again, despite the fact that they're kind of expensive for us. I'll just get one more unit right now. Cool. So glad you're doing Cafe, it's the faction I want to play the most. Yeah, I think it's the faction that probably fits my playstyle the most as well. Maybe as well as Kislev, but um, I, I usually tend to enjoy the good factions more than the evil ones. Um, my Chinese is not the best, but I think your capital is literally called Chinese Language Port. Well, why do you ask your Chinese girlfriend, Lucas? Uh, maybe she can help. I guess she's not. She, maybe she's busy or something. Um, but yeah, that'd be cool. Han Yu port. Cool. Right, uh, I think we're ready to end the turn. Well, let me check my sister again. We already did that this turn, but either way. Wait, let me check the other factions too. I met some new f some new peoples. Shut up. If you're not gonna trade with me, don't talk to me. The Blood Guzzlers. Now that's a name. 
That's a solid name right there. Right. Um, I think we're good. Let's end a turn. Someone has to work so that I can sit here and watch. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh, are we about to be attacked? Nope, they're attacking the other one. And they fucking wiped it. Yeah, I'm not at war with them, so I don't know why would it... If Can they still attack my caravan? Either way, they're in March, so... I fucking hope not. Well, this one... Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot to do the movement thing. Right, that's my bad. I was. I thought they were attacking me because it was all slowing down. But it's because I simply forgot to change all these to fast. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay, go. You can do a quick deal to see who would be willing to try... Oh, right, yeah, that's, that's something I should be doing. Caravan encounter. Lost patrol. The Juntan caravan. The caravan stumbles upon a patrol of allies that have been lost for some time. The guides can show you them a way back to friendly regions, although this will cause a short delay in getting the caravans to its destination. Oh, that's sick! We get to we get to put two Streltsy in our army. Um, hunt down your enemies. They are now ready to restock on ammunition, head into battle. Or forgotten fighters. As you know, free peasant long spearmen. You get to wet their blades with enemy blood once more. They will fight for you if they are but shown a way back home. So... They don't join my army, of course, they join the caravan, but that's pretty sick. I get, I can just have two Streltsy, and we don't play upkeep for them as well, so that's probably a really solid choice for us, right? Um, the only thing I'm confused about is, like, why do we get to choose what kind of units they are? Originally sent to hunt down your enemies, they are now ready to restock on ammunition and head into battle. Eager to wet their blades with enemy blood once more, they will fight for you if you're shown a way back home. So this is the... Okay, I don't even know. Um... Either way, I feel like this is probably the unit, right? Just because it'd be kind of fucking cool as well. We got two of them rather than three of these. 90 men each. Hybrid unit. Streltsy. Yeah, fuck it. Lost Rangers. That seems pretty cool. Harmony's balanced. Both Yin and Yang are working as one. Sick. Recruit 20 new units. What the f... As if I got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for this. Uh, we got three grants. We got... Okay, cool. Sounds good. How's it going? Hey, CB. I'm doing well. How are you? Fine, a fine addition to the collection. Um, Google traductor, traductor Translator came with its wisdom. Chinese port. Nice. Definitely going to keep watching you in the background while teaching today. Thanks, Karyu. Karyu. I never know. Strel C do increase the stability costs. Glad to see a donkey that happy. Have fun. It's probably to give your choice between ranged and melee. The Strel C are definitely better. Yeah. Cool. I made the right choice, boys. Uh, I got a rank for our lady. And we built some more buildings. Right. I will definitely up. Actually, will I definitely upgrade this? How long? We got. What do we? Five turns for more growth. I think I will. I will build that. And then I could upgrade this for more growth and the income from all buildings, which does make me some money, but I don't know if that's actually worth it anymore. Because I really just built this for the yin right now. Um. Anything else? We have a level up. Let's do that. You, lady. Increase mobility. That's probably what we'll do. Um, yeah. Oh, is this a passive income is modified by initial 2%? Yeah, I think we definitely go uh, increase the mobility and then we probably just give her some spells. Does she have any good shift? Is she metal? Um, I believe I was told yesterday. Is this... How do you know what the fuck they're... I mean, there's literally... The Plague of Rust sounds pretty metal. Lore of Metal, there you go. So she's Lord of Metal, yeah. And I was told yesterday by Tsunami that Metal's apparently pretty shit. Um, and I gotta say, I don't see any breath attacks. And I don't... I see a shitty Vortex. Actually, I don't know if that one's shitty. But yeah, this doesn't seem particularly exciting. So I probably will remove her at some point. And just recruit a level 6 one once I can. But fair enough for now. Um... Cool. Let's do a battle, shall we? Oh, I believe we shall. This might re remove my... Um, I could auto-resolve this, but... Should we fight? Let's put it to a vote. Oh, we can do an actual vote. I, I learned about this yesterday. Um, wait, how do I... Here we go. Pull. Fight. Battle. Yes. No. Boom. Use the pull, guys. Um, yes, it's the Lord of Metal. The boost income spell from Alchemist will only work when it's out an army in agent mode for lack. Oh, okay. I didn't actually realize. I didn't know that. So, 
Whilst they're inside of an army, the local effect doesn't actually do anything? That's interesting. I didn't realize that. Although... Is that true though? Because it says that in enemy territories, it reduces it by 5% instead. So it increases it in friendly provinces and it decreases it in enemy provinces. And this time it's making 95 bucks and it says 100 minus 5% is indeed 95. So I think I am reducing it by 5%, which means that it also would be active in my own province. Judging that delay, Paul came up before he said, oh, I remember the vote thing. Yeah. Well, it's a... Uh, holy shit, 62 votes. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize we were going to get that much active stuff. Fight battle. Only barely, by the way. <laughs> that's uh, kind of funny. Um... Any good skill in a special tree? Oh, right, I didn't really look at uh, Xiao Ming's tree. I'll have a look at that in a minute, if you guys want. Increase income as a passive. Yeah, 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 but... but uh, Storm John was saying that... Um, it doesn't work while you're in an army. Even though it's passive, it only works if you're an agent. Like, if you're running around by yourself. But, yeah, as far as I can tell, it works even if you're in an army, passively. Uh, anyway... Uh, ooh, 16. I'll keep that. Didn't realize it was passive. Fucking stupid John ruining everything. Alright. Um, let's, uh, let's attack from a couple of different fronts. Let's go over here. Accompanied by an archer. Let's go over here. Accompanied by an archer. We'll make our way over here. Wouldn't you know it. Accompanied by two archers! Um, yeah. And then I got some spearmen, but once again, I don't really want them to get shot too much, so I'll just have them hang back for the moment. We got Dragon Boy, Alchemist, you can join these guys. Uh, you are gonna find yourself a lovely location from Huens to shoot. Over here might be okay. Get a couple of shots instantly if there's anyone guarding that hole. Um, that's it, that's my whole army, and I was looking for more units, but I, I ain't got any. I've got this new ability now, Ancestral Warriors. Summon units, Ancestral Warriors. Okay, I don't know how good they are. Is that an actual unit that we get to recruit later on? Who knows? Oh, there's fucking no one there. Well, at least we can capture that point really quick. You, could shoot people with your new abilities. You got loads of them, dude. And you're gonna move up there. It pleases the dragon. It pleases the dragon. Alright, hit this one this time. I want to see if it actually does some fucking damage. If you hit. What is that? Why does it keep hitting, like, all the way to the right? That Once again, it missed. You're fucking joking me, dude. Alright, this is really good. Um, I don't know if it's good against, like, a single unit or something. It's close range. So, it's probably one of those, like, if it misses, it's just trash. Have you done anything yet? You can definitely hit that unit there. That's a... Oh yeah, you're or, it might be you're already doing that, I'm not sure. Either way, that's gonna do some damage. One hit, still pretty good. Um, okay, get you up here. I wanna fucking fire this fireball at someone, I'm gonna see if it's any good. Peasant Long Spearman. Take this, you piece of shit! Oh, that is not bad, actually. Um, right, now it's time to become a fucking dragon. Um, let's murder those peasant horsemen, shall we? You guys just kind of move up. You guys get in here. Hey, everyone, get in here. Right. I see a lovely couple of units over here, ready to get blasted with some fucking fiery breath. Chili! Oh, I didn't need to be careful. They have some crossbows around here somewhere. I think that, that's this unit right here. It's okay. Yeah, I figured archers would do quite well against some peasant disgusting horsemen. Um, yeah, you're blasting away. I don't want to get too close because we would get shot by that unit. So let's just wait right there. You're doing all right. You're just you're you're doing your thing. I'm getting shot. I don't like this. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, I can, I can do it while in this mode. Now I can maybe hit for once. I can fire back, piece of shit. Ooh, that was pretty good. And then I'll breathe on them. Oh, lovely stuff, that. 
Alright, let's get you guys to guard this lane so that we can mess up the Jade Warriors. How the heck are we dying? Are we being shot by a tower or something? Let's have you fuck up this tower real quick. You guys are murdering that. Let's go help out against the... Actually, that's peasant boys. Let's not do that. No! They build up... I have to go through that now. Alright, you guys. Time to go capture this point here. Archers, you can fight back. Spearmen get in the back of them and then you go here as well. Okay, we're holding that unit. We're firing in the back of it. Should be fine. Are you dying yet? No, you're alright. There's a Jade Warriors. Oh, we got a lot of stuff potentially to fire upon here. Let's summon this unit now. Some uh, Ancestral Warriors. And then I would like to do a little bit of that. Come on, breathe on them already. Are you doing it? Here it comes. Yes! I ate so much chili last night. Oh, don't, don't start. Turn it down. Right, their stats. Holy shit, they've got insane leadership. Not the most exciting stat, though. They've got shields, but no armor. That's kind of cool. Uh, magical arm, arm piercing. Good against large, apparently. That's good to know. Right, keep destroying the tower. We are dying right now. I'm just... Hello? Getting shot by these archers that I'm not really doing anything about. Can you guys fuck them up for me, please? Um... You give me a cheeky hit in... Yeah, right over there should be okay. A, lot of, a little bit more breathing on them as well. The double magic. Oh god, that unit took a lot of damage. Oh wait, but that's just because they're that special thing. Oh, there's a great opportunity for a hit right there. What is this? Jade Warriors? Send them in. Well, actually, good from the back. That might help more. Okay, you guys captured a victory point. Uh, ooh, Archers. What the heck are you doing? Because we gotta break through there first. Break through there. Oh, I don't like getting shot over here. Um, Alright, four more seconds. Wait, before I do that, let's do this first. Then get in there. That was pretty shit, to be honest. Surprised by how little damage that did. Uh, let's not do that. I want to fight this guy one on one. Oi, dickhead. I'm right here. Fight me. They've got some random archer still standing outside. Kill him. Elemental Roth. Okay. We are also very close to sort of winning this now. Wait, did you just do some fucking magic to me? That's not allowed. I'm the one who does magic. Okay, we're definitely messing her up. I think we're good, to be honest. Probably we kill her and we just win. Oh shit, you guys are here. You've arrived, hello, welcome. What is this from? This is a lovely formation, I gotta say. That's a nice one, I haven't seen that one very often. Uh, Alright, she is getting fucked. There we go, we win. Good. That was a little more painful than it needed to be, probably, but it's alright. Your flying cap unit isn't capping. I know, I didn't put them on the point to cap. Ancestor Warriors of Ethereal Badass Units. Only magic attacks can hurt them. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, they have full, like, physical resistance. That's pretty baller. That's why they did die very quickly all of a sudden from a little bit of magic. First, they did my Phoenix Guard dirty, now Ethereal. Bah! Customer support line formation. Also, lose a lot. Uh, it's my my tea is cool down, so it's no longer doing the uh, cool like stuff on the mug. But lose a lot. His girlfriend gave me that mug, hence why I mentioned him. Enchanted shield, free armor, five melee defense. Fantastic. I will occupy that. Crit rank plus three for Jade Warriors and Jade Warriors Halberds. Damn! That's pretty good. Uh, and then we get the armor. And we secured the province, which means we got five grand in a spell shield. And now we can do a commandment. On two provinces. Alright, I'll try. Alright, we have plus four control, chance of plague spreading. Research rates, uh, campaign movement range reduction for enemies, corruption reduction, five melee defense for local armies. Recruitment cost reduction, recruitment capacity, and income from trade. Alright. Um, what's this, by the way? 
The Great Bastion Threat. Oh, that's because um, we need to, like, save the, the Great Wall of China. Let's call it what it is, shall we? I think they busted through somewhere. It shows you in the Ming campaign. Uh, Ming, Ming, no, in the Miao Ming campaign. Um, she starts over here. Is this Gunpowder Road? Yeah. And then, like, I think this one is busted open or something, so you have to save it, I guess. Great Bastion protects Cafe from the forces of Chaos. The threat level will build over time, and Chaos will attack once it reaches its highest level. Armies will also breach the Great Bastion should any gates fall out of Cafe in hands. Okay. So I probably want to help out around there at some point. We've got another one of these. Um, Alright, let's remove the one in City of Monkeys. Do we have any special resources? We've got pastures here. Right. So that probably gives me a special building. Income, growth, growth, okay. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that one then. Also, it says right here. It's actually the Great Wall of Cafe. Shut up! Fire. I blame that dwarf which starts with four ghost heroes, because if they didn't nerf ghost mode, could ruffle stomp the orcs and goblins early. Yeah, I think I remember. Um, didn't Legend do some kind of crazy campaign with those or something? Great. Uh, okay, we already got some armor. Plus three armor melee, uh, five melee defense, or five melee defense, 12% spell, spell resistance. Uh, free armor or five or 12% spell resistance. I think I'll take the spell resistance. And then, fuck, I forgot to check if he's if he causes fear and terror when he's dragon mode. Son of a bitch. And then we got a jade sculptor. So now we have our upkeep cost reduction as well as recruit rank for those units. Plus three. That's pretty baller. Desert. Not bad at all. And we got a rank up that I didn't look at yet. So, now, what do we do? Um, oh, we can upgrade Dragon's Breath there as well. Nice. Um, cool. Master of Metal. Damn, son. He already does ruffle stomp the orcs and goblins early. Yeah. Might want to activate the armor and the ancillaries. Um, do you mean these things? Is that what you mean by ancillaries? Or what do you what do you mean? Activate. Oh, you can salvage shit for money. Oh, that's pretty cool. I never knew that. Um, Anyway, I, I, uh, I, I don't know if this is what you meant, I'm guessing not, but I do. I am thinking about actually going for these two right now. Um, I mean, just giving our units more stats is always something I enjoy as well. We just get all of our units in here, basically. This even has Celestial Dragon Guard and Jade, so like our late, gear, late, late game stuff as well. This has our Celestial Dragon Crosswoman and Jade Warrior Crosswoman. Doesn't have our... Wait, does Jade Warriors units? I'm guessing that encompasses all of the like the Halberd one is as well. That's pretty cool. Speed for Sky Lantern and Sky Junk. Yeah, I mean this is always good. Just getting these upgrades, more melee attack, melee defense for our base units. Maybe we'll pick these ones up first. Just get them out of the way. Uh, although this allows me to then get Rally and then go further leadership and charge bonus. Uh, I can get all four of these. They seem pretty good. Plenishment rate. Now, plenishment rate's all the way down here, so I can't get that anytime soon. I'm not going to put free points in stuff that I don't really care about right now. Yeah, let's fucking let's just go unyielding. I'm sure that's that'll come in handy. To my experiments. Okay. Uh, we got a building upgrade available. Right. Yeah, we can upgrade this. Do I want to? Uh, we are still in balance. This building doesn't give either, so removing one doesn't change anything. Um, we're gonna get one more growth next turn, so we can upgrade the City of Monkeys as well. Does this building give me anything? No, no yin or yang on that. Cool. Uh, right, so what's our goal? We are at war with the people to our west here, so this might be a logical expansion path. The Dissenter Lords of Jinshen, who had that uh, caravan just wiped out a moment ago. What is Tai Tzu over here? Okay. This is Skaven Corruption. I wonder who's in there. Um, okay, there's actually quite a bit of escape and corruption here. Fix, sort out your province, the center lords of Jichen. Uh, anyway, yeah, that makes makes for a logical expansion path. They have a small army right there. 
I think. Can we get here in a single Don't turn? Make... Looks like we can. Um. The Iron Dragon. Do I want to get more Jade Warriors? I feel like I'm okay for now. I don't have a lot of income, so maybe I just keep it. Right, I don't want to build anything there. I've come yes, the commandment, right. I was gonna do that. Um So which one do we want? I think overall research rate's nice. Recruitment cost, eh, I'm not really doing that. Income trade, how much money am I getting from trade? What the fuck do I see that again over here? Trade. 178, so 5% of that is not a lot. I think research rate doesn't do anything for me either. Also, when is this this thing? Is that next turn? Yeah. Um, it doesn't really do much either. I don't need to control, because even with the conquest, we're still going to be positive next turn. Um, eh. Chances plague spreading. I don't know how good that is. I don't know what plagues do exactly. I haven't played enough. I'm just going to go for research rate, even though that literally does nothing as well right now, because 7% of 5 turns isn't going to do anything, I guess, but if I get another town, but then I should go for something else for the moment, right? I guess there's a reason to get the control up as fast as possible. Although, interesting. Oh, I didn't I didn't realize this mechanic where if you get high control, then the control goes down again, so you kind of keep balancing into the middle unless you actually make control buildings. Same goes for the negative shit, though. That's interesting. Um, I don't know, man. What? Let's go for this one then. Fuck it. Let's go for control. Definitely not scaling. Yeah, no. There's there's nothing in there. I'm sure it's all happy. Uh, right. Maintain. Recruit twenty units. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to trade? Yes, we can finally trade my sister. In fact, she's willing to pay me for it quite handsomely now. 190 bucks. Oh, Thanks. Cool. Appreciate it, sister. All oh, right, the quick deal thing. Uh, no, nope, not this one. Quick deal. Be on guard. I can actually get loads of non aggression you. facts. This is Lord this is a very you. useful screen. <laughs> this is actually really useful. Uh, I don't want to peace out with them. I'm also or clan. <laughs> oh. Yeah, not a whole lot we can do there. Right, cool. Do I have anything else that's new? Nope. End of turn. Drill training. You got that right. Ah! The 7% actually made this go to 4 turns instead of 5 turns. Sweet. There's Harmony. Yang is Ascendant. Disharmony even. What the fuck? Technology. Oh shit. Yeah, we got one from Tech. Right, I forgot about that. Big rip. Uh, at the end of your turn, have an income of at least three grand. Sure, I'll get right on that. Change the compass direction. We can do that. Attrition for June Tan. Oi! Stop taking attrition, my guy. Uh, also, just is he in fucking ambush stands? Where the hell is he at? There he is. What? He's nowhere near where it told me he was. He's on his way to frozen landing, though, so he's gonna get there next turn. Cool. There's those uh, strolls. Oh, you, they shouldn't take attrition here. Come on. Alright, cool. Um, so we're about to make a whole bunch of money next turn. We are going to just take this as well. But first, we're going to upgrade that. We are going to build the grazing pastures. And then I would like to get another gin somewhere, but I don't know if I can currently. Um, anyway, does this give any gin? What do we want to activate? Oh man, yeah, it has been reducing quite handsomely. So, why do we want to... I guess we just select one because we want that thing, and then we can change it every once in a while. Um, Dragon Emperor's Wrath. Extreme attrition applied to armies beyond the Great Bastion. Beyond the Great Bastion. So if they're on our side, I guess, right? Is, is that what it means? Great Bastion threat minus 2 per turn. Percent. Recruitment cost for units. That's pretty cool. Uh, or corruption minus four per, per region and cafe. Is that for everyone or just mo like only for my faction? Because otherwise this could start helping get uh, help getting rid of um, the, uh, the, 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 the Skaven corruption we've got in the town that we're about to take. Otherwise I think this is the best choice we have. 
how does you need one more yin? Because the uh, tech that I just unlocked gave me a yang. It's uh, one yang right there. Another yang coming up. I could go for something else just to get the other yang. Yin, even. Oh god, it's gonna get confusing real quick. Um, either way, I want to change it, so... I think we uh, I think we go for this for the corruption reduction. Ooh, very cool. Warpstone Desert. So does this now Wuxing Compass? Oh, so it does work. That's pretty sick. Okay. So it's actually getting better for us. And even though that's not my province, that's pretty sick. Uh, I got 750 buccarinos from that as well. Go, let's go take the town. We, we might actually auto resolve this one for now. Oh, they've got some uh, Jade Warrior crossbows. Yeah, low casualties. Let's the just get this one out of the way. Is with us. That was way more painful than it needed to be. A nice little item. Occupy that. Alright. Cool. We got a couple of level ups. Got an item. The Talisman. He's immediately equipped that. Physical resistance 15%. Sounds good to me. Uh, right, I think we just put another point in on yielding right away. Just get that melee defense as well. Good shit. Makes these guys pretty decent. And then she's leveled up as well. You can actually have some items if you want, but... Mm, I'm gonna hold off. Actually, I could give them to this guy instead. Also, I'm not gonna attack on him. I played this game. Well, I played the first couple turns of this campaign twice, and every single time I did, um... I actually did get attacked on him every time, so we're surprised that I didn't get attacked this time. Um, right, so this just straight up increases my income by a little bit constantly. Not bad. Alternatively, we can go for some spells. Searing Doom is okay. Enchanted Metallurgy. Um, it's an augment, imbuement, magical attacks. So do I just give this to a unit or something? Or is this her? I don't know exactly what that means. Can someone tell me what this means? Is Does it mean that she gets this automatically or... Because it's still got range, duration and cooldown. So you just... I guess she just gets to activate this whenever she wants. It's not... You don't target something. She just gets to do magical attacks for 18 seconds every 60 seconds. Something like that. Is that correct? Boost income. It seems targeted, but it doesn't say target. Oh yeah, because it's got 100 meter range. So yeah, I suppose it is targeted, actually. That, ugh, whatever. Um, I guess I just buff a unit every once in a while, but it's not a spell, so it doesn't cost the winds of magic. So I can just straight up increase, like... Yeah, you know what? I'll take that then. Because then I can just increase the, the, the leader boy, uh, Xiao Ming, his, uh, his damage every once in a while. Right, we have a another Yang building. That's not what we want. I mean, it is, because this building is really so... Actually, no, I want the Ying building. I want the trade one, so I think we remove this. Plus, that gets us closer to Harmony again. I need another one, though, on top of that. Um, we keep that one for now. I want this building in the other place. Cool. Got building upgrades, but I don't want that. So that's it. My caravan, did you arrive? Or are you arriving this coming turn? Is that what it was? Yes, you're arriving next turn. Okay. Um, any more quick dealios we can make? No. Imperial Wardens. Cool. I think we'll probably... I don't know. I'm a little bit... Actually, we can see an army there now. I'm not sure exactly what the plan will be. I would like to probably take them out first and then head south. But I don't know what my plan would be to in the terms of expansion after I've taken them out. Do I? Is this an ally of mine? Why am I blue of you? Is that just your color? Wait, what are we, um... Ownership, yeah, we're not actually, uh... Diplomatic status is just, yeah, there's nothing special there. Okay. So, yeah, maybe, um... We'll see. We'll see next turn. We'll see what these guys do, because they're still recruiting as well. In fact, it might be time for me to recruit a couple more units as well. These peasant long spearmen are replenishing... Awful slowly. Even though they're replenishing more than these guys. Um, I can't recruit these guys here. That's annoying. I don't really want more peasant long spearmen. Maybe I don't recruit anything. I could globally, but that's just silly. That's just fucking dumb. I mean, it does make sense, I guess, to have four spears. So fuck it. Let's get two more spearmen broskies as well. 
Um, the target gets magical attacks instead of physical, so you can get rip free instead of. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's that's it. Got some spices over here. Spicy. Cool. And the turn. Caravan completed. We got four and a half grand. I feel like we were supposed to get more than that, but sure. Um, yeah, the annoying thing about it actually is that um, if you get attacked, like you, oh, he did actually level up. He must have leveled up. Yeah, he just leveled up just now. Because the level ups are actually really solid. Ooh, Frostworm Skull. 4% missile resistance for all units in the army and Vanguard deployment for him. I might yank that away from him and give that to my main army because it's really strong. But yeah, level ups are really solid because they have a special level up tree. Can I do this right now? Can I not fucking just level them up? Do I have to actually go into... Can I do it from here? There we go. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to give this up. But yeah, they've got cool things like uh, lowering the chance of an ambush by 50%. The only weird thing I find about these also increasing the sale uh, value, maximum cargo. The annoying thing about these is that the first level is like by far the best for some reason. So you get 50%, then 65, so you get 15% on top of that, and then 75, so 10% on top of that. Why the fuck would you, like, you would just pick up the first rank and be, yeah, I'm good now, thanks, mate. I don't actually know if I want that, though, because the more you fight, the more you level up. It gets better, right? Also, casualty replenishment rate is solid, uh, but here's, this, I think this one is the same. So 50% maximum cargo, then another 25, then another 25. Why is the first level the best thing? It should be the last level. I've said it since Warhammer 1, by the way. The last level should be the best thing. You should get rewarded for putting more points into something, not, like, diminishing returns. That makes no sense. Uh, anyway, I think maximum cargo capacity pretty good to get that level up right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make more fucking money, boys. Can I actually reach this arm? Oh, I can. I can just about reach that. I don't know if I want to. That is a wall settlement. Oof. I don't know if that's a good idea. Especially with an army in there. Nine units, so nine plus... Three, six, nine. Damn, you're a fine ten. So nineteen units against my eighteen. It's fairly even, but I think I'd probably want to siege him out. But that takes what ten turns or something to do in this game. So I don't know. We could get attacked in the in the B hand by these guys if we did. Uh, first of all, though, let me entertain you. Let me give this missile resistance thing to you because that's insane. Which opened up the uh, and. The spell shield. Oh, they immediately switched it. Fair enough. Yeah, you can use that. Cool. Is there a movement range upgrade? Uh, we've already... Uh, for for the caravan? I don't think so. Or there might have been, but either way, I think, the, I think that's way better. Because now I can just, like, use it again. It's returning to capital. How long does that take? Because, um, yeah, I can, I can now make way more money. Um... Six fucking ground over here. But I can't dispatch him right now because he's still on his way to the capital. Right, okay. So I wonder if that takes five more turns or if for some reason he gets to teleport back. I don't know. Either way, he has taken some attrition. I guess we'll find out soon where he is. Does Xiaoming had any special purple item? Not yet. No. Uh, anyway, right. We can build a building here. We have a hunting camp. Gives us first... Sure, probably a good idea. Um, although I did say I wanted to build the... How many are we off? We're two... No, we're uh, Yang one. So I built one Yin. We're going to be okay again. So yeah, let's um, let's go for this Yin building. Uh, just so next turn we're, we're good again. And then here, I could, sound, I could siege him out. It probably would take a while, but I think on the field we'll be totally fine with this uh, fire rocket thing. I am no slave. They do have some decent units in here, like Celestial Dragon Guard. Uh, Celestial Dragon Crossbowman, but overall it's pretty eh. I, bow. I just don't know if I can siege him out for that long. Do, is there, like, there's no supply system in this game, is there? So I guess it's probably fine. I could also recruit two more units, but then, you know, they've got the same time to do so. So I think we're just going to fucking siege them out. 
Hope that works. A valiant defeat. It would take 10 turns to do so, but I think in this game they start taking attrition immediately, so that's something. Their army is pretty fat. Pretty fat? Pretty meh. Or shit. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just siege them out. I'll, I will build some shit though over time. We have 10 labor force per turn. Well, let's build one of these bad boys then. Alright, cool. I can actually do it right away because I guess this thing can just blow up a gate. Yeah, siege attacker. And I'm guessing the dragon form probably siege attacker too. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna siege them out for now. 10 fucking turns. Let's go. We might just get attacked from a different area, which means we'll have to deal with that. But maybe they'll sally out, who knows. Don't know how that works in Warhammer, whether people are inclined to sally out or not. Building upgrade, no, we don't want that one. And turn, we can check if anyone wants to trade with me again. Almost. Trade resources only make money if you have trade deals. Well, I mean, I have like four of them though, so that's why I'm doing it. Um... But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm building the end building first anyway. Did he level up? Just then. Forgive me for not recognizing you, friend. Who? I took you for another. The fuck are you? Non-aggression pact. Uh, you're the one who's at war with my sister, so I'm uh, I'm good. Oh, well, actually, if you're gonna die to my sister, like we expect you to do at some point. Although, has my sister taken any town? Because you own this as well. The fuck is she doing? She's still only got that one town. Is she gonna die? Um, because I'm kinda hoping you get taken out by her, otherwise I'm gonna be attacking you at some point. Do I just kill my sister? Is that what I do? If you take out a faction, you can recruit that legendary lord, right? Is that also if you're the one to take him out? I think so. Um... Either way, I think, honestly, I don't... No, I'm gonna hold off on this. The 300 bucks is not worth it. Harmony is balanced. Ooh, this bar is almost full. We've taken the snake, or whichever gate we lost back though. Don't know who, yeah, it was the snake one. Don't know who did that, but good job, whomever that was. All things in balance. Construct free buildings, contribute to harmony. Mission issued. Okay. Um, contribute to harm, I mean, so just yin and yang. I mean, I've already got that though, right? Jade Warrior Crossbowman. Yes, I would like those. 800 bucks, man. These buildings are cheap as fuck, dude. Uh, right, so... Normally I would probably build one of these, but then I ruin my old yin-yang situation again, so maybe I shouldn't. It's kind of interesting, because the bonus is so good that you kind of just want to leave it. Like, I don't really want to build anything right now. Um, that That would ruin it again. Um, I am a little tempted to maybe build some defensive buildings, but I mean, normally I guess what would my, my, be my free standard buildings? Probably will be one of these ones, one of these ones, um, and I guess normally it would be like a gate or something. I don't think I would ever build these ones, especially in a province where I'm not recruiting units. Um, so yeah, it would probably be this and then the one of these two. Or two of those four, I guess. Uh, either way, that means for now it's yeah, it will be these ones. So I'm gonna leave it open. I think. As much as I want to build this, the yin would overtake. Actually, in two turns it would then be fixed again, because I'm about to be get a yang from tech. So I could. I, I guess I'll just wait one turn. I think that makes the most sense. Man, it's it's kind of interesting and confusing at the same time. They're taking pretty quick attrition, so this is going to turn in my favor pretty quickly, so maybe I will do a siege. Uh, was there a building to do here? Nope. This is not free k. If you kill the Lord's Faction, they're gone, or they did they change that from Warmer 2? Oh, was that not... Unless it changed, you need to confederate the legend. Oh, that's how it is, okay. Gotcha. I think every unit is technically able to smash a gate, but you need one to siege attack to be able to attack on turn 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Move the one in your capital. Wait, what? My sister has a gate? Does she? Did she just take it then? Because we... I mean, we, um... Yeah. We saw that she only owned... Yeah, she owns two now. Oh, yeah. I guess she... Yeah, she just... She must have just taken it then. That's why she didn't take these guys out yet. Because she's busy fucking saving the, the world. Fair enough. Do 
Do I want to pay you for this? 1700 bucks? Get the f Wait, hold on. If I do this, could I... I could do non-aggression pact and then do it. Do I want to be friends with these people or do I want to take them out? I honestly don't know. I don't know what the plan would be. But this does seem prudent for now. Because I think it's more logical that I'll take these guys out and then start heading like outer, either east to get myself up against the edge of the world or south or both. So let's just do this and get some money as well in the process. 70. Alright, cool. I can make military access happen too, but let's just get the money. The ancestors. I propose to you a deal. Uh, anyone else? Wanna cheeky bit of trade? Nope. Butcher. Fair enough. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I think we're just gonna keep sieging them out. We are not gonna build anything for another turn. Although we've got another one coming up from here as well. Which means I'm gonna have to leave that one open then, I guess. This is confusing. Yeah, okay. Alright. Um, it's end of turn, I think. When is this available again, by the way? Seven turns, okay, so it's like, I guess, ten turns or something. You're still on your way back. Yep, that was this turn, I think. Cool. End the turn. Let's see what happens. Is the game a lot harder to run on PC compared to Warmer 2? I don't think so. Um, but it's hard to judge because my PC is completely different from when I last played Warmer 2, like, two years ago. Construct free build. Oh, we did it. I mean, okay, I guess, yeah, because I already had those buildings. I was a little bit confused about that mission. I got free ground from that. And Trickster Shard. Miscast base chance minus 20%, and we get the ability Trickster Shard. 100% chance for miscast. If I... I guess I use that on the enemy. Okay, I don't know I don't know if I like that very much. Seems, good. Seems a bit shit, to be honest. Cool. Um, so now we want to build... A Yin building, because we're about... Oops, that's the wrong one. Still... Okay, so he does return to capital quite long. Yang. Okay, so we want to get a Yin building. I can also upgrade this. Sure. We got the money, so why not? Um, so we want to get a Yin. So we want to get this one, because I want to get this one anyway. And then... we we I want to build another building, but I can't. Unless I can build another one here, but I can't. Okay. We're gonna get this upgraded pretty soon, though. I like this. I like this mechanic. This is cool. Oh, it's almost there, boys. They are still taking heavy attrition. What is it like now? Oh, what do you like? Still Valiant Defeat. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Continue the siege. You will die. Soon. Cool. Um, yeah, I think we haven't got much else to do, so... Wait for more growth and wait for the siege to happen. These are making pretty passive good money right now. Start checking how far you are from confederating your sister. At two stones, this should be in confederate range relative to your own power, of course. Good reason. I mean, I, when I last I looked... Oh, here she is. When last I looked, it was Faden, not Storm Fury, who was king of... Uh, anyway, um, when last I looked... Um, it was like minus 80 or something, so it seems unlikely. But I guess I can have a look. How do I... See, why don't I ever see it in here? Do I have to have a military alliance? Is that why you can't confederate? Why didn't I figure it out last time? Uh, I, anyway, it's probably a good idea to start with this anyway. I'm not going to be attacking my... Si or am I? Probably not right now, but yeah, let's just get this first. No, you don't have to have a military alliance. So it, it it only shows up in the quick offer thing for some reason. Why is it not on here? A boon. I don't know. Oh fucking holy shit! He's got a full stack now. It's Death Masters. Sorry, Death Masters. This is 100% how you pronounce that name. God, all my work here is going to be undone. Uh, the threat increases. Oh, two more turns. Wait, what's that? Commandment, minus 1%. Nice, you did it. Commandment. That's a pretty large army right there. Impossible. It's probably pretty crap. 
see multiple Skaven slaves in there already. Uh, I can I can get back there, but it does feel a bit shit to just kind of leave this after three turns. But then I kind of figured that was going to happen. It's actually a pyrrhic victory. The thing is, if I do this battle, I can't then make it back to their town again. Do I just let him? Do I just sacrifice the town? If she ever loses a battle, that's the ideal time. Right, let me just have a look at that at least. Uh, is right, sister. Dear, dearest defend. sister. She's actually stronger than I am, so it seems unlikely. Not your wind shaper. She is at minus 130.9. Thanks for the advice, John. Very cool. Cafe he wants to peace out. This Can you actually ask for a region fun. now? You can. Oh, that's cool. But unfortunately, it's nowhere near enough. Uh, I don't really want to peace out with you. That's not necessary. Child of the night. My map is all fucked around now. I hate this. This makes me really annoyed. Duty okay. And there we go. Unity. I'm like, there we go. Um, I could fight it, but I notorious hate notoriously hate siege battles, so I'm not super excited about that. All right, cool. So if we we can upgrade this now. We can Im imbue it with flaming attacks and then basically doubling those two. And it also goes up by one extra second. But then the cooldown goes down by 30 seconds. That seems pretty shit. Um, either way, the cooldown goes up by 30 seconds. The duration goes up to 22, 23 here though. So flaming magical, 60, 50. There's a magical and then 25, 25. Missile damage increase. Okay, so this is, it would be good if I had someone who was actually a missile character to give it to. And this one, poison. Poison's not bad. But I think I might just go for the straight up incredible damage from flaming. This just doubles the damage, more uh, and uh, additional flaming damage. This one, still magical and poison. The base and uh, weapon and missile stays the same. Oh, it's actually, I didn't, I just totally misread. This is actually, this just splits up the missile uh, and the base. Or and the, the melee, I mean. The middle increase are piercing. Yeah. The, yeah, I, I, they all increase base. I, I just, I misread that. I thought this one was base uh, weapon and then base are piercing or something. But no, it's base weapon, base missile. Um. Anyway. So. This one. I mean, it's. It, so I go from 60% to 25, 25. On weapon and armor piercing. Or base and armor piercing, sorry. And it goes up uh, by an extra f four seconds. Eh, this was, so I get, okay, so I trade off flaming for, for uh, a total of 10% damage that I lose, but 25 of it becomes armor piercing, which is probably better. So yeah, I think we go for this one, piercing. All right, cool. That only took way too long. We shall prevail. Hessian attacking you, coming with 20 army. Yeah, they're, um, they're here. Can I actually... He's in forced march stance. I know I can't reach him right now, but if I Infinite stop sieging, do, do I not automatically move back a little bit? Or is that not the... I know in Shogun 2 you do. So I might get some free movement, and then I can reach him. That would be sick, but I don't know if that's the same in this game. I think in this game you still stand right next to it, don't you? Anyway, let's get some tech going. Um... Income from sacking settlements, that's not going to happen very often. I think maybe we go for something a little different now. Corruption minus one across all provinces. Seems like it could be pretty good. Hero action costs. Armor for Jade Warrior Crossman. Jade, eh, that's pretty decent. This also gives more yin. Uh, I got the all take four tur turns. Vigor loss reduction. Vigor doesn't seem to be a big thing in this game at all. I think I'm going to go for the minus corruption. I feel like that's going to be pretty instrumental. None of this, this is like really I screaming that it's insane or something. Personally favor flaming missiles stops regen from certain characters and monsters. Yeah, but it's not... I don't have missiles on him though, so it's like that doesn't do anything for him. I mean, it's flaming me melee attack still, but... Um... Can definitely upgrade that, and I can't do anything else with anything else. Can upgrade this place if I'm going to save it this turn. Right, so do I? I think I do. I think I deal with him first. 
I might even go towards Tidesu and just take that out. So let's let's uh, stop the siege. Can attempt? Do I? If I auto resolve, do I lose anyone? No, I don't lose any units. Um, I, if I auto resolve, I, it would it would be Pyrrhic, but medium losses and no one actually dies. But I I feel like everyone would get mad if I auto resolve this. Let's um let's let's break the siege. Oh, it feels such such a waste of time. And I might not get as good enough opportunity to deal with them again because I'm going to go up north to take the other town. By the time I'm back, they will have rec recruited a bunch more stuff. Always secure capital settlement over a minor one. Capitals have walls by default. Yeah, but but that's not the point though. Like I, if they take that other town, they can then move on and take more of my towns while I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Leave the city. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it. Alright, it does run back a little bit. I might be able to reach that army. Hey! Look at that. Now that's what we want to see. Now that is fucking convenient. I can actually auto resolve this with low losses. Um, it's just got... It's just Skaven slaves and one unit of night runners. Okay, this is, this is a, a worthy pull, I think. Fight battle. Yes. No. Ask my community. What do you guys what do you guys think? Should I fight this battle? It's clear out of resolve once again, but I I think messing up a whole bunch of Skavens is a uh, kind of fun. Spearmen will die. No, they won't. If you hover over the auto resolve, it'll show which units will die, if if any. Uh, and it just, it doesn't show anyone dying, so. Well, it's it's very fucking even between fighting and not fighting. But as of right now, fighting is winning. <laughs> Fifty-two percent. All right, let's do it. Let's fight the battle. Oh, it's fifty-fifty. Well, I've jumped into it either way. End the pool. I made the uh, deciding choice there. Cool to see them die. Yes. Oh, no actually won in the end. Well, big rip for the no people. Sorry. I went when it was in favor of yes. Alright. Just like yesterday, kill all the rats. Yes, yes. Alright. Fucking channel. Can we get lucky for once? Oh boy, we can. We most certainly can. Why are there a bunch of lamps? Is this a... This is a road, I guess. Or is it supposed to be a road? Road. It's not very clear. Like, where the fuck do you go from here? Where does the road go? Oh, here's this way. Oh, fair enough. It's not very clear, is it? Anyway. Um, you guys are probably just going to sit this one out. Although, I might want to keep you close, because I feel like they could just easily flank around you and just and mess you up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to sit right in the center, to be honest. Maybe a little bit further forward, so I can put this on a slight... Yeah, hill, if you want to call it that. Incline. Uh, put all the archers behind. For once, we can actually do a regular field battle. And with the siege equipment, I might be able to lure them forward. Although we're just out of range. Hold on, let's pump the army forward a little bit then. Because um, so if we're going to come forward, that would be pretty good. You are going to just turn yourself... Oh, wait. Oh, you got Vanguard deployment now. Yes. Fucking instantly cast a bunch of magic on them. Maybe stay back a little bit. They are probably quite fast. Those rats, rats. Uh, Alright, cool. That's it. That's, that's my army. Except for you. I knew I forgot something. Cool. Alright, is this thing immediately blowing someone up? Go on. Blow someone up. Did I put my own units too close? No, that's alright. Boom, bitch. 45... 89 kills. Holy shit. 93 kills. Victory's in our grasp. We got it, boys. We can do it! I believe in you. Well, oh, that was good timing with the explosion there as well. Oh my god, this thing is insane. 168. Well, it's the same against Skaven anyway. They're routing already. If they're in Force March, do they die... If, if they run away? Is that how that works? I can't remember. Um, 
They do, right? So if they're in, if they're in force march, they die if they if they uh, lose. Or is that I can't remember. Let me know. Slightly better than Shogun <laughs> fire projecting mangonels, yeah, just a little bit. Pretty pretty comparable, but uh, yeah, let's say these guys are just a tad better. Oh, it's only slaves, so it really isn't as as insane as it looks, but I do love that. Also, this would be a much better. Oh my god, I need to fly over there. Yeah, let me just turn into a fucking dragon real quick. Oh, we're being shot. I don't like it. Stop it. Alright, I am now a dragon. They die if they lose the battle at least. Okay, cool. Sick. Wicked sick. Alright, let's fuck up a ton of fucking Skaven slaves. This ought to be good. Let's go. Boom, bitches! That was not bad. We killed seven guys, so not a lot of death, but I'll take it. Go kill these slingers for me. You got it. Um, yeah, why don't you guys, why don't you use this as well? That was... No, cancel it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, use it. Oh, Jesus, whatever. Just, cho just choose a unit. Boom. Killed three more people with that. Use the crossbow thing. Maybe we can actually hit something now. And then do a little bit of magic. Everything at once. Boom. Oh, it actually didn't cast the crossbow now. Keep firing, boys. I got more magic over here. Oh, except they're running out of... Nah, I don't think I even want to do that, to be honest. This thing is still going crazy. Sitting at 567 kills. Not to worry. Has Mark used the blaze scroll yet? Should be one. Yeah. I've used it twice now. Oh my god, they've got a. Lo oh, it's Death Master guy. Is that an actual, like. Is that a playable lord in the in Warmer 2? This guy? Oh. That was pretty nifty. Help him out, boys. Oh, I should have actually turned the other way. Did I turn into a human again? To one of your finest humans. Go kill them up. Oh, go kill them up. Go fuck them up. Right, so let me check. You have. Four percent. Oh, that's just the other thing. Um. Doesn't say they have. Oh, wait. Am I... I'm looking at the wrong unit. That's why. Uh. Physical resistance is this one. 75%. Okay, so they're not like immune altogether, but pretty good. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I need to check with this guy. Okay, we. I need to wait 100 seconds. To find out whether I can, I cause terror and fear when I'm in that mode, in Dragon mode, in Dragon Ball Z mode. Rocket battery. Rocket battery. Wind and fire. Wind and fire. Black and boy. Actually, he's probably quite good at melee, right? I would imagine. His name is Death Monster, and he, oh, it's not his name. His, his title is Death Monster. If your title is Death Monster, you ought to be pretty good at melee. He's a playable legend or a scary one in melee. Oh, well, there you go. Not so scary now, though. I'm fucking him right up. Oh shit! Be careful of my own units. Is this magical damage? No, it's not. All right, never mind then. Hey, we did it. Keep fucking him up, dude. I'm gonna kill this dickhead. Wait, am I flying? <laughs> That's it. I didn't know I could fly. Uh, anyway, yeah, I need to wait 40 more seconds. I wanna, I wanna actually see if um, get them archers. I wanna wound this dickhead. I know he's. If their army loses, they're dead. He's dead anyway. There you go. I wanna see if I cause terror. Why can't I go into dragon mode? Battle has started. Battle outcome. No, I can't. I can't use it when the battle outcome is decided. You're fucking joking me right now. Can't turn into a dragon after the battle's done. Oh my god. Now I still don't know if it causes terror. 1,000 kills. Not bad. He had fear. I didn't see the terror icon. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah. Someone just go back into the stream for a second and check this for me. That would be pretty cool. Fear donkey. Okay. All right. So two people have said no, he he does fear and no terror. Okay, so giving him the terror would actually still benefit him. But not as much as if I give it to someone else. Um, that's pretty good replenishment. I have a lot of money. 
Also, what happened to our 100% chance for an item? What the fuck? Um, I think I might take the replenishment, because we got a couple units that are a little bit busted. Hey. See you later. Snitch. Uh, we got stock now. We can move hidden any terrain. What if he's a fucking dragon, though? Uh, we got a jade amulet. Power recharge, 160% reserves per second. Okay. Uh, enable if casting. Cool. I could give that to you. But I think it might make... S well, I mean, it, he does cast a lot of magic, to be fair. Kind of thinking I'll, I should really ca give it to the alchemist. But I think, honestly, I do cast a lot more of him. So I should give it to you. But then we do lose the Dawnstone, which is also pretty good. So, yeah, let's give it to the actual caster, I guess. You get it, lady. Uh, I don't think that's useful on her. I Maybe on the other guy we have, but he's not currently in action, because I'm still waiting for him to return. Returning to capital. One or more ogre camps are present on this route. They may attack your caravans. I can't believe we got through the high risk areas without any problem. Your chance is 100% higher, but if your base chance is 1, Victory that makes it 2. Oh, right. I guess we have succeeded every single time so far, so I, f I thought it was just, like, guaranteed, basically. How many points do I need to put in here? 6. Okay. Um, I think we max this one out. And then I might go... I might go for one of these two. Let's go melee attack, because now that actually adds up to... A great more. Boon to These guys are sitting at 34 melee attack now. Oh, baby. That's pretty decent. Now, are they going to replenish in a single turn? No. Uh, and I should be able to besiege them again next turn if I... Oh, right, because I cheesed, I cheesed some movement just then. That's why I can't reach. It's like, how the fuck can I not reach right now? It makes no sense we just reached in a single turn. But it's because we got that little bit of free movement from stopping the siege. So I'm not going to replenish the last couple of men that I've lost, but yeah, we're going to march. And then we're just going to besiege him again next turn. Oh, unless I'm going to kill this guy off. Oh, there's got a new fucking army right there. You're joking me. Uh, hmm. That might make more sense to kill this guy off right now. Can I reach you next turn? My normal stuns. <laughs> no. Alright, fine. I think we'll deal with them first. Stay in my own territory. Oh, I still replenish in my own territory whilst in... That's... Okay, I, just, I forgot. I thought you just didn't replenish. No, you do. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, well, now I can safely upgrade that. And I still don't want to build anything else because we're currently very harmonious. So I don't want that. Anyone want to trade with me yet? Nope. Anyone want to join my confederation? I'm pretty cool. You want to peace out? He still doesn't want to peace out. My nation's gonna fucking die, dude. The I can get a bunch of military accesses and some. Body once told me the world was gone. Um, yeah, I can get a uh, lot of aggression packs, but I don't want that. Take tide to. I will. I'll do it for you, Valabesh. Might make sense to recruit a partial army to help protect from the rebels. Yeah, that's probably true. We're being honest with one another. There are greater threats upon my. Because they are recruiting more units. Oh, and I can't even see them right now. Big rip. Oh, Population surplus. Me. In this place. Ah, yes, I can get my main province upgraded. Uh, which annoyingly is all the way down here, so it doesn't help me protection-wise. Um, yeah, I mean, I I probably should. Oshi, if Oshi, actually, if I upgrade this, uh, no, not that, this one, I would be able to get Jade Warriors with Halberds and Jade Warrior Crossbowmen with Shields. They cost 25 bucks per turn more. Is all they, the difference between them the shield? I think it might be. No, they're melee defense as well. It goes from 16 to 24. Okay, so 25 bucks more for a 35% block shield and um, an 8 more melee defense. That's not bad. 
There's their speed. No, speed stays the same. Yeah, I probably I probably would get straight up the shield guys instead of the unshielded ones. I think that makes sense. Um, and then the warriors with halberds I would definitely get as well. So yes, I, I would like to upgrade that, but I think we get more interesting stuff from just upgrading this to level 3 right now. Instant demolization for singing. <laughs> it's funny, because some people actually think YouTube works like that, but it doesn't. It don't. Um, okay, so here's the question. If I attack him outside of the town, then... If, like, we don't wipe him out. Actually, we do the town, we don't wipe him out either. I'm just thinking if we can make the garrison really weak by fighting him in a field battle, which would be much easier for me than doing an actual siege battle. Although the siege, or not siege, but the minor settlement battle, um, they will be reinforcements. So I can play. I can just plop my entire army next to the reinforcements, kill them first, and then deal with the garrison. But I think we're just going to make it a field battle and just wipe everything. And then I'm assuming I can still reach the army. I have 2% movement left over. That better be enough to get to the town. Oh, unless he just runs away. And now he's still in range of the town. You're fucking joking me. Well, that's kind of dumb. Oh, it's just a straight up low losses. Okay, well, in that case, I think I just fight. I just auto absorb it. We just fought these guys. We shall prevail. A little painful, but it's okay. We gotta turn to replenishment right away. Occupy that. We revealed some Skaven dickheads. I encountered the Celestial Loyalists. Where are they at? All the way up there. Very relevant. Um, attack the army. Attack the settlement. If the guy runs away, he might be able to s might be stuck and able to... Well, it's, it's all done now. It's all done. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, to get a little bit of replenishment. Are we... We're no longer... We're, we're, we've got one Yang right now because of the... This building, which I don't even want this building, so I think I'm actually going to remove this one. And a bit annoying actually, because if I keep it, I can then build something here instead. I can build this Yin one, and I want this Yang one. Do I though? Maybe I just go for the income from all buildings, which means that's a lot of Yin. I definitely don't want this Yang one. Uh. Desert. Why you gotta be so confusing? I definitely don't want this one. Um, okay, so yeah, let's wait one turn and then I can build two buildings. And that'll be good. Maybe I'll upgrade this as well. Maybe it is worth just going for more income from all buildings. But it's only 2% and it costs 950, so it's probably not really worth it right now. We're getting 751 here. Eh. Is it just... It's 2% from all build. That's like all from buildings, right? So... We would just sort of get 2% from that, which would be 15 bucks per turn. Take a long while to take that, make that money back, but it's only going to get better, so fuck it, let's do it. Um, and then we'll wait one turn before we build anything there. We've got a level up as well. Two level ups, in fact. I think we're going to go ahead and just get desert weapons as well. Weapon strength increase, which again, sounds really good, 15%, but it's not actually that crazy. Why is it so hard for Harmony? Action gone already. Yeah, they were fucking weak. Uh, and then you've got a level up. Right, so we can get another point in here. Let's do that. The Iron Dragon. The Iron you Dragon. I can get some Jade Warrior crossbows now. But again, I want, I'm want. i just going to go straight for the shield once, I think. So we're not going to do this or in the other place. So, quickly check diplomacy once again. The Celestial Perhaps Loyalists, you don't together. want to trade with me. Well, then you will die. Natural Lord I hate the trade isn't the first one. I guess it makes sense, but... Okay, cool. Uh, also, this is now going to happen. I guess there's shit is about to happen this coming turn. We're not probably going to have to deal with it unless they break through, in which case I will. Also, how is my dear sister doing? Is she taking three towns yet? No, she's still sitting pretty on two. Okay, well, let's make sure you protect that fucking shit over there. We'll call it a day. Yeah. Now I gotta hope I don't get attacked by these guys. But because I could build an army to protect myself against them, but Tell I don't me. really think it's necessary yet. How do you intend to? Tell assist? me, friend, 
When did Young Sun, the Burning Wind Nomads, abandon reason for madness? That's what it is. I was like, what the fuck was the quote? Um, see, I, I feel like I should, I should probably take them out, right? But we're already trading with them, so I may as well just get more deals. Oh, it actually changes the number down here if you type it in, or if you don't type it in. That's really annoying. That it doesn't do it when you do type it in. Alright, cool. Money, Harmony. money, money. Greedy as fuck. Usually focus growth until level 4 capital and level 3 minus, then I start replacing buildings if needed. Growth for the game is critical. Yeah, that's... I've, is that why we're talking... Is that we're talking about this? That's why I'm keeping this, like, really equal. Because that's giving me a lot of growth. Um... I usually do the same as Storm, but then I stop caring and just build what I want because I don't play on Legendary and it literally doesn't matter. Yeah, that's the one thing I am getting from playing not on Legendary. It's like, things don't really matter that much anymore. Uh, the Great Bastion threat level was reached at maximum. The forces of mass beyond the wall attack. Cool. Good for them. Population surpluses. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade that. So now I want to build one Yang... Just this, no, one yin, just this one. And then one yang. Which will be this one. Construction cost reduction. I guess. I, I want this one, but I can't build two yins right now. So I guess it's once again I have to kind of build stuff that I don't really want. Um, yeah, fair enough. It, it, it still it will still help me. It will make me money over time. Just kind of awkward. Uh, you are gonna journey back. Can we get there next turn? No. Annoyingly, we're just shy. Despite the extra movement we just gained. So I think I'm just gonna march into my town. Now that I know I still replenish anyway. In fact, I replenish more because in my own, in my own time. No they have, of course, fully replenished. They're still recruiting more. So I don't know what to do. I, I'm assuming ambushing in the desert... Not the highest of chances. No, it's just forty percent all around. There's nothing really here that I can hide in, I guess. Oh, there's corruption right there. When it, oh, we'll suffer losses due to attrition when in desert regions. So yeah, we don't have any uh, immunity to desert regions. But I guess if you stay to the stick to the roads, no, that's not really. It's just certain areas of it. Okay, if you say so. Caravan dispatch available. Sweet. So you're fully replenished. Let's fucking send you out. Here you go. Take all the money in the world. Make me some fucking cash. Six turns for six and a half. Seven turns for 6.3. Five turns for 4.4. We're going to go to the Shattered Stone Bay for six and a half grand for six turns. I think. I'm assuming this is all longer. Eight and a half grand for nine. Eight and a half for nine. Six and a half for six. Three less turns. Nah, this is gonna be better. Let's go. I like how you keep the units. So yeah, you just have these random events that pop up. Give you a chance to get more units. No That's pretty cool. Where was Shaoling when the Great Wall was attacked? Where was Shaoling? Where was... Be on guard. Alright. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see if something happens here. If we actually lose some of these... Uh, gates or something. Should I... Should I just, like, send my army... No, there's no way I can do that right now. I was gonna say, should I send my army to go help out or something? But probably not. Um... Right. I, uh... I think there's not really anything else to do, right? End the turn. How long are we for this one again? Three more turns. Because when I do, I can actually go to... This one. Right. It's the last one I was looking at. Um, to get um, Dragon's Emperor's Wrath. So how does this go up, by the way? There's a decay constantly. Decrease over time. Directing in this direction will increase the energy reserve, giving stronger effect. Oh, okay, right. So I actually have to put it on that thing for it to go up. So it, the fact that I put it here meant I got these things, but I didn't increase any of the other ones. Okay. Um, yeah, I probably should put it over here to get the... Uh, Eh, actually, no, that's... I'm, I'm thinking of this, but that doesn't increase. It's it's only this stuff that increases. We get literally nothing. Okay, yeah, this is pretty bad. 
I probably shouldn't have gone for the one I went for. But now I know. You live and you learn. Why were there some caravan places not selected? Oh, I'm not sure. Who are you and what do you want? 200 bucks for military access. Ah. Uh, I think I'm good for now. Why would you want military access for my lands? Oh, because we're bordering. Fair enough. Oh, you're right next to me. Shit, dude. You're right there. Uh, you've got just the one town, looks like. Uh, I have some deals with you already. Are you at war with people? Yeah, all the chaos stuff. Eh. I'm gonna pass on this one. They might just die and I waste the 200 bucks, but I mean, what's 200 bucks? No, no I'm, I'm, I'm asking, what is 200 bucks? I don't know what that means. My caravan is about to pass through this region. I don't know if I like that. Oh man, there's some fucking ogre boys attacking these guys as well. Which means I'm gonna have to attack them to get that town. That's a little annoying. Alright, let's upgrade that. We are still yin-yanging it all the way up over here. So I think we just get the hunting camp then. I don't think I have any other buildings to get. I could upgrade this for more construct- Here, once again! You get from the first tier building, minus 4% construction cost for all buildings in local province. You upgrade it, it should get, like, it should at least double. You know, the, the first level should not be the best, because why, why, like, it just makes no sense that you get rewarded the most for the lowest amount. It just makes no sense to me. Why did you create this like this, CA? I don't understand. The next level, we get one extra percent. One! What the fuck? Why not make it like two, four, six or something? Why the, at least? Because it ends up on six as well. Why? <laughs> like the growth is gradual, goes from ten to twenty to thirty. You know that makes sense. I still think the last level should give like the biggest boost because you get rewarded for getting to the final level. But the other thing, why instead of making it four, five, six, why not do two, four, six, or do even like one, three, six? Because then you know you get a shit amount for the first level, but then you get. You know, just get you get one, then you get two, then you get three. It just, yeah, yeah, I know growth doubles, but still, it just it doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me that you get the biggest reward for the first level. It just doesn't. It doesn't make. It doesn't want to make me want to upgrade this anymore. Whereas if it was the other way around, I'd be like, oh yeah, let's get to the final level. Yeah, I'm making too much sense right now. I know, right? I tend to do that a lot. Um, I'll still do it because the growth, but I. I almost don't want to, out of principle. Um, okay, so now we have a bit of a situation here, in that... I... Can't really do anything about this. I think what we'll do is I'll move to the border and try and set up an ambush. See if they somehow respond. That way I'll still replenish. It's a 40% chance, you never know. Um... And if they move away, I can either chase or I can siege out their town and see what happens. I can actually, if they move away, I just fight the battle immediately, I think. I kind of want to recruit some units, but I can't recruit anything good here. Plus, we don't, if we recruit, we don't ambush anymore, so. Oh shit, I'm about to get a... Oh, this doesn't give you, oh, the middle one doesn't give you another yan. Okay, that's good to know, because we're, I was going to say, I might get fucked otherwise. But no, we're good. Cool. Modifier stacking in the form percentage is the most exploit-worthy thing in these types of games. Oh, you want to know why things like income and construction cost have such low modif modifiers after the one players like Legend? I don't think they they build shit around like one person though, or one multiple. But I guess that reward system is in line with what many people today want to get much fast. If you want to work for something, fuck it, which is stupid in a game like this. Yes, I'm, I'm glad we all agree. Uh, right, any any other dealios? No. Anyone want to join my confederation? Actually, not too... They've got four towns as well. Long may we both Unfortunately, you prosper. can't... I can threaten them, but I can't offer them anything, which makes sense, because... I think you could do that previously, right? You could, like, offer them money and stuff, which makes no sense, because, like, you're joining the confederation, so that money should rightfully then belong to me again, but... Anyway. Um... Right, <laughs> I've recruited two of the 20 units I was supposed to recruit. I guess what I could do is recruit another army. Haven't really considered that. I probably could afford a s fairly sizable army. I don't get... Actually, no. Wait, is my 25% upkeep cost, is that army or... Yeah, that's army. The 25% here is for ogre mercenary units. 
Uh, so I will just sort of pay a hundred and whatever the fuck they cost per turn. Uh, one twenty-five. Oh yeah, because we got seven percent discount as well. I should probably give that to the new lord then, because that might make a more of a difference. I'm not sure how that stacks. Either way, a bit expensive, but I think it might not be a bad idea. I think I'll hold off for a couple of turns. What kind of lords can be recruited, by the way? We can get a lord registered or a dragon-blooded Shung Shungenjin. <laughs> of course, a Shungenjin. We all know what they do. Um... Right, so just the Lord Magister, Magistrate gives free fucking yin, okay, or yang. Right. That's something to keep in mind as well. If we recruit a new Lord, we have to then instantly buff up all of our other shit really hard. Really hard. Uh, and they get spell. They're a wizard, okay. You're a wizard, Harry. And then we only have two heroes, an alchemist and an astronomer. But they both sound like they're wizards. Yes, they're both magic. Okay, so we don't actually have a melee hero, which makes me more inclined to go for a, a melee lord and then put a wizard hero in their army. Anyway, again, I'll hold off for now. Um, let's end the turn. See if our um, thing gets attacked. Probably not this turn. Oh! Well, that's unexpected. Oh, Caravan Encounter. Oh, sh No, two more of them. Or three Jade Warrior Halberds. Ooh. Caravan stumbles upon a patrol of allies that have been lost for some time. <laughs> Literally right here, by the way. Uh, the guides can show them the way back to friendly. Yeah, it's the same as we had last time. Right, so I can get two more Streltsy, which does give it a nice equal four Streltsy. Pretty cool. They are 250 a pop. Nice little unit to have. Or go for probably the more reliable, nice Jade Warriors with Halberds. And there's three of them. They are cheaper though, 175 per turn. Again, we don't pay that upkeep, but it's, you know, just based off of the fact that that, that probably means the Strelts are, Strelts C are better. So there were 500 total. These guys come in at 525, so slightly higher. What do you guys think? Oh, you know what? I can make a poll. Poll. Um, ca caravan units. Streltsky? No, it's, there's no K. Streltsy or Jade Warriors? Hellbirds. Ask your community. Right, while you guys answer that, I'm gonna go take a piss. I'll be back in a moment. I have returned. The Streltsy have won. Alright. Is the end turn bug still a thing? What is the end turn bug? 57%. Only 37 votes. Alright, cool. 
Lost Rangers. I probably would have gone for this one myself. But to be fair, if the li I mean the limit is still twenty. Oh, uh, webcam. The limit is still twenty units. So eventually, you know, I guess higher quality would win out. So makes sense. <sighs> okay. Um, we got. Uh, yeah, we were. Yeah, I, I was researching that. Capture Shangyan. Cool. We're gonna do that. Um. We get an extra 500 bucks if we do it in the six turns. So here's the thing. The army is right here. We got some Iron Heel Gunners. Out, uh, for some reason, I don't know why the fuck they decided to go this way, but they they could certainly reach my town. But what I could do is just go for the town and immediately go, like, attack it immediately. We have the gate. Oh, shit, my game crashing. I think it might be. Don't know what's going on. My game is probably crashing. Yep, it crashed. How unfortunate. I ho I don't know where the last save was. Probably when I ended the turn, which ironically means what the fuck? Why did my Steam files get validated? What the heck's going on? Okay, uh, which probably or ironically means that, I, that that event might not even pop up, which means that we don't even get those new units. That would be ridiculous, though, after all that time. All right, can you guys see the game again? Uh, no. Oh, yes, is the answer. The actual answer to the question. Uh, all right, it was 4.15, that was six minutes ago, which that doesn't say much because I went AFK for a few minutes. I just joined and it crashed, I guess it's my fault. Yaki or Jackie, what the heck, man? Why would you do that? I can't believe you would do such a thing. Oh, no, now you have to play demons again. Don't worry, Rex, I will play them some more. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I'll probably be streaming again tomorrow, but I'm not sure exactly who I'll be playing. I will probably continue this campaign. Um, but I think the next like week at least I'll be streaming every day. I mean, honestly, like I'll probably be streaming a lot in the next month. Um. Oh, it was it was okay. So we need to still enter. An oh, if they don't do the same thing now, I'll be, I'll be a little upset to be honest. So it saved as I as I ended my turn, and I got an achievement now. What? How does that work? Okay, they've done the same thing. The achievement I got was have a trade agreement with five other factions at the same time. I literally just had that. Oh, it is different. Son of a bitch. I get a noble. Um, while resting at an inn, the caravan master is approached by a stranger claiming to be a famed adventurer who wishes to join the caravan's retinue. will protect and fight, but the services come at a price. Okay, so we can get a noble, a melee specialist. Is that the high elf guy? That's probably worth it. I mean, for 500 bucks, I would imagine that's cool. that's nice to have in the army, right? Um, plus, it's kind of cool, because I think he still levels up, so we can still... Black screen? Can't see? What? Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Sorry, guys. That was weird. Um, I got it. I got it. Black screen. I got it. I did it. I, I dealt with it. It's okay. We're back. It's weird, though, because the screen was there, and then for some reason it wasn't anymore. Uh, anyway, so we have the option to get a noble. Uh, is that I, I, that's probably worth it, right? So we don't have the other quest now. That one's gone forever. Although we still have the other strategy from before, but best screen with donkey on it. Um, I don't want to do another vote. I think it's just probably worth it. Another hired sword will bolster the caravan's protection if they're as good as they claim. Should be worth the price. Assuming that's uh, a good guy to have in the army. And I got a different mission now. Unless I got two missions. Son of a bitch. In battle, eliminate the lore belonging to any of the following enemies of Imperial Wardens. Oh, it's like all the people who just... Oh, shit. There's one of them right here. That's... Oh, okay. That's really close to us. Okay, so we didn't get the quest to take this town, which was going to give me like 1,600 bucks, which is really annoying because we were literally just going to do that. But now there's a car... There wasn't a caravan just now either. What the fuck? <laughs> Also, if we attack the caravan, do we get a bunch of extra loot? Wait, this isn't the same faction, though. But they're also... They're both enemies of me. So if I were to attack this town, would they... Oh my god, so many questions now. What has happened since I ended the turn? Would they join in? There's no arrow, so I'm guessing no. They are both enemies of me, so they might be like, Yeah, let's do this together. 
Wait, no, that, that is their caravan. Wait, why has it got a different flag? Am I losing my goddamn mind right now? Oh, it's just got a caravan flag, but it, it is it is their faction. Oh, this is really... An this all went to shit just now. That's not... That's not nice. Um, yeah, it's a high elf noble. Cool. Uh, although it looks like I actually can't upgrade him. Because when I right-click him, I just get this stuff. So I actually can't give him equipment and stuff. That's a little annoying. So he's just going to be level 1 forever. And he's not going to get any better. Well, I guess I can still disband him. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. So eventually you probably just disband units that you don't want and get better shit. Anyway, so before we crashed... Also, where's my audio? There's no music anymore. What is happening right now? I think there's like a... There must be, I think there's a button for it, but I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's all Jackie's fault. Jackie, you piece of shit. You just have to come in and ruin everything. Anyway, before um, before the fucking game crashed, there there definitely wasn't a caravan. And I was like, okay, I'll just attack the town then. We, we had a quest for and everything. Um, because the army was sitting out there. Oh, this is really annoying. But now they've got a stupid caravan. So if I attack the town, the caravan's going to join. That's not a great battle. If I attack the caravan, the town, the garrison's going to join. Actually, that might be okay. Because then afterwards, I'll just take the town. And the garrison will be almost dead. You know what? That's what we'll do. Maybe I even get extra money because there's a caravan and it's got extra money, perhaps. Um, army cannot move or attack, but will defend itself if attacked. Ooh, cannot move or attack. Do they? Can they also not reinforce? Yeah, let's find out, actually. Either way, this will turn out to be okay. Yeah, audio being gone is really weird. <sighs> Fucking Jackie. Do you have lightning strike? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Um, I'm going to throw down a quick save. I might actually restart the game again because my audio is just not working anymore. Maybe if I just tap this. Wait. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> it's just not, there's no music. What the fuck is going on? Right, let me, let me restart the game. God damn it. Jackie... Hello, Nikos. This is really weird. Not having any music. It's just so quiet. It's like it's like one of, like where you have to play a Lord of the Rings game. With uh, wait, why am why am I getting the launcher for Warhammer Free now? What there was this wasn't a thing before. What the heck is going on? I think they just patched the game like a moment ago. Wait, what? Oh, Steam app. Oh my God, I can't, it can't find Warhammer Free. What is happening right now? Steam was unable to sync your files. Okay. I don't know what the fuck happened just now, but my whole game is busted. It starts the launcher, which that wasn't a thing before. And then when I press play, it can't find the game. The exe file is gone. What? What's happening? Rip my save game. I've gone. I've grown too powerful. <laughs> Wait, let me see if anyone's talking about this. Is the oh partner announcements? Um, nope, nothing about it here. Well, maybe other people are having the same problem or something, but no. Um, this is annoying. Yeah, my my exe file is gone. After the crash, something happened. Clearly. Okay, let's. Let me verify my the integrity of my fame, game files or something. Um, local files. Verify integrity. Alright, let's see if something happens. Sorry, guys. Well done, CA. You've ruined pizza. Reinstall. Yeah, let me just uninstall and reinstall a 120 gigabyte game, Valabesh. Casually reinstall. Well, I don't have to do it two times anymore because that preview build is no longer relevant, but still. I'm so late. Delete and reinstall. Yeah, that's very quick. Will there be more Expedition Rome videos? Yeah, I, uh, I've i recorded like I think like 10 more videos of that campaign or something. So I've got, I've got loads more. How big is that game? 120 gigabyte. 
It's uh, I think the download is like 60 and then it unpacks the rest of it. Actually, currently it says 112.76 gigabytes as the size of the local files, but you mean you don't have that NASA internet connection? I mean, I have uh, I have one gigabyte up and down, but even so, that still takes a while. Reinstall and place something else. Meanwhile, no, I'm not gonna. Why would you reinstall? Like, is that the first thing you guys do? do you, when you guys have something like this happen, do you just like uninstall the game? You should verify the integrity of the game cache, because then if anything's wrong, like if there's something missing, it will it will just download that one file and then it will work again. You don't have to like get rid of your entire game to do so to do so. First we get, I know I know you do, Neutron, because you're not a moron. It's likely 120 gigabyte at the moment to allow for quick patches and changes. It will be likely smaller on launch. Well I think the the actual like game um thing Imagic says um, 120 gig gigabyte is recommended, like uh, to to keep available. Do I still play Shogun Two? Nah, no, I don't. Nah, I never play Shogun Two. It's not like I uploaded a bunch of Shogun Two in the last week. Donkey stream audience, just NASA workers stealing internet for re <laughs> reinstalling games. The first thing I do is restart stream my PC, then integrity check. That's fair enough. Is my connection reliable? Yes, I, that's. Not, I mean, the, if I had to reinstall the game, it wouldn't be my connection that limits me. That would be it would be done really quickly from the connection's point of view. But my SSD is kind of busted, so that would be uh, that would be slowing it down. Even the dumbest errors magically get fixed by verifying. Yeah. Who even plays Shogun Two anymore? It's twenty twenty two. I know, right? It's been fucking. It's been almost eleven years since Shogun Two came out. Why would you play that game? It's old. Weird. Weird people. We're at uh, sixty percent of validating the Steam files. We're almost there, boys. I'm surprised that, that that my viewers aren't dropping dramatically. I was I was expecting that to happen. Shogun Two still worth it in twenty twenty two. Yeah, I don't know if you realize we, we are joking. I literally have like three or four current Shogun Two campaigns on my channel right now. Yeah, like the Honma one. We'd be down for an Empire Total War campaign. Ew. People probably had a kid in those 11 years. I mean, yeah, some people probably did. 120 gigabytes. Sorry, I'm still not over that number. 75%. The thing is, if I start playing other games, the um, embargo time I have to, to stream this is going to get very confusing for CA to keep up with it, so I'm not going to bother playing any other games. I prefer normal Shogun 2, but I don't think you should be asking questions, Yucky, because this is all your fault. Before you were here, the game was running fine, there was no issues whatsoever, you came into the stream, the game crashed, and now it won't launch anymore, the music's busted, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but you caused all this, Yucky. Unbelievable. Everyone sat here, Steam open, going, what was this verified game file you mentioned? I don't have to reinstall games? Yeah, probably. It's like... <sighs> waiting for the kids left to be lifted. I think that's still a while. Let me check that one. I think that's one of the last ones to drop. Uh, yeah, Embargo 4 on the 3rd of uh, February. Kislev. Both the Kislev lords, though. All right. It's validating Steamworks common redistributables and it's downloading something. So I oh know it's just downloading a different game right now. It did actually wait. I think it did patch something from Warhammer. Right. Anyway, let's try it out. Warhammer free. Don't be a dick. Don't start the launcher. It's starting the launcher again. Maybe that's normal now. Play. Nope. I. I'm going to send this error file to Josh. See if he knows anything. This is very unfortunate to happen in the middle of my stream. Um, Josh. Uh, 
Um, I said, saw a stream fine, had a crash. Now this happens when I try to restart and I send in the picture. And it starts up the launcher, which it didn't do before. See if he says anything about all that. Um, what I can try, if I right click this, is there anything? Nope, that doesn't help. Oh yeah, I should tell him I tried verifying. Didn't do anything. I like how my viewers are going up, despite the fact that I'm not playing the game anymore. Good bit that they already, in, already integrated with the launcher minutes ago and knew that death fucked something up. Yeah, maybe. Either way, it looks like Josh is busy, so no reply from him right now. Um, okay, let me actually have a look at the error. So it cannot find the... Hold on, let me check something. Proper. Oh, Josh has got the same problem. He's on it. Okay, so it's not just, it's just apparently, um... Oh! Okay. Right, okay, so a little bit of research for myself. <laughs> Take your hard drive out and blow on it. Um, it seems that the beta build is just gone. So that's why it's not starting up the game, because it's trying to start up the actual game. Like, if you were to pre-order the game right now, and it lets you pre-load it. I don't know if it already lets you do that, but um, and it lets you pre-load it. You would get the same error that I'm getting right now. It just doesn't let you start the game, because it's not out yet. And normally we're playing on a like a review build or whatever they call it, like a yeah a beta build essentially, um, so that you know we actually have access to the game as content creators. But that seems to have just disappeared since the crash. It's just it it just doesn't exist anymore. Um, I think I can I'm probably allowed to show you guys this. So let me just do that. Um, so as you can see, normally there would be like we would we would put a code in here and then we check code and then it it gives us a new thing to download. But that one seems to have just gone. Um, so, I think, I I have a feeling this might take a while. So I'll, I'll keep streaming for another five, 10 minutes, but if, I, if it doesn't look like it's gonna get fixed, um, I might just call it here. I have to stop earlier today anyway, so I only had about an hour and maybe an hour 20 left anyway. Um, I'll, I'll definitely stream tomorrow. I'll just, maybe I'll stream uh, longer tomorrow. Um, yeah, a bit unfortunate. It's all because of you, Yaki. That all you all content creators started to show more than they wanted you to. <laughs> no, although I will say, and I, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. I talked to Legend about this yesterday. Um, Legend broke embargo. Uh, he did it unknowingly. So, and I said to him, you know, I'm sure it's not a big deal. You didn't do it on purpose. Um, but normally the way it works is, uh, so, Hold on. No, I can't show you that. That's, yeah, that's not allowed. Uh, I can tell you though, we ha we are allowed to stream for uh, 10, well, the first embargo from yesterday, we were allowed to stream for 10 hours uh, or we were allowed to make videos up to 100 minutes. So just, you know, basically, um, yeah, 100 minutes or 10 hours of streaming. He made a video that was 30 minutes. So that's 30% of his total minutes that he's allowed to use, basically. So 30 minutes of video equals three hours, because it was 10 hours, so it, com it compares quite nicely. It's just 30% of what you're allowed to do. So he used 30% of his time on video. So he only had seven hours of streaming left, but he streamed for like eight and a half hours because he didn't realize that it's not equal. If it was, I would be, <laughs> I would, because I asked this, like I, I discussed it with Josh a long time ago, because I was, I also wanted to do, you know, streams and videos, but, you know, you use half your time on video, that means you lose half your time on streams, which is a lot more because of the way embargoes work. Oh, hold on, I think I've got a message from him. Oh no, someone else. 
Oh, I, I think he put in partner. It seems there's an unscheduled update to the build that's affected the EXE. We're working on it now. Okay, so yeah, they're working on it. Um, you're not showing your... <laughs> Shut up, Tsunami. Uh, anyway, so basically, yeah, he, he broke embargo by playing for like an hour and a half more than he was supposed to. Um, but Josh said that if, you know, if it was too bad, he would just remove some time from Legend from this embargo. Um... Just plainly stupid for CA to do. Well, so I understand the reasoning for it. Uh, I, I still think the, the, the numbers are slightly skewed. Like, it, sh it should be, a, like, right now it's like this. This is streams. This is videos. It should be a little bit more like that. You know, you should be able to stream more than do videos. Because if you make videos, if you're not doing just straight up Let's Plays like I would do, you can at the very least... Um, you can do you can do very heavily edited videos. So if you have a hundred minutes of super heavily like overview this, overview that, you're gonna get tons and tons of views, and it's not really fair. That's why there's also a limited amount of videos you're allowed to make. So even though you had 100 minutes of video, you're only allowed to make three videos. So you can do 33 up to 33 minutes. Well, no, on average, your video would be 33 minutes long. You could do one that's an hour, and then two that are 20 minutes. But, um, but that's up to you. But yeah, I understand the reasoning for it, because otherwise you would just spam videos and that would be an easy way to get a lot of views. Like really, you know, you could just do tons and tons of overviews and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I still think there should be there should be like a third tier. There should be streams, edited videos, and then somewhere in the middle should be Let's Play videos. Because Let's Play videos, you don't spam them out. Like I can do... I think I should be allowed to do, you know, if we're, if we're allowed to stream for 10 hours, I should be allowed to do six, seven hours of video Let's Plays because that adds up to about the same thing. Because um, I understand, you know, in streams, you're not as focused, you're talking to chat and you're doing this and that and you're, you're you know, making polls and whatever the fuck. So you're not um, as focused on making content. So the content you do goes a lot slower, if you get what I mean. So I understand why there's a difference for it, but... So stream ended. Uh, I think I think I will end it. Yeah, because it doesn't look like temporary workaround to booting. You can browse the game folder launched. Oh, hold on, I might have a fix. Man, I was gonna try that, and then I realized, or then I. Oh wait, I should turn this off now. Oopsie daisy. Don't want to show anything I'm not allowed to show. Hope there wasn't any massive fucking porn in that. Um. Hold on, let me browse to the EXC because apparently that does work right now. Uh, Steam, Steam apps, Warhammer free. Oh. oh, hey, we're back, boys. All right, we can play a little bit more. This is going to be very confusing for people who watch this in the future, but so be it. Maybe I'll try and put a disclaimer in. Uh, I know you guys can't see it yet. You should be able to do it in a minute. There we go. Alright, if it's black screen again, let me know. But it should work now. Better to have porn on screen than, the game, than game leaks. Yeah, probably, to be honest. Although, it, that, that might get me banned from YouTube, so... Alright! Let's hope the music works again. I don't think I actually had music in the main menu just now, so... No, I have music now. Okay, we're good. So the homework folder. No. <laughs> my uh, my XXX folder is called fun. So. Um, I told you to do so 60 minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry, Duke Earl. I assumed that wouldn't work because it said the EXE file was missing. So I kind of just gave up on it. I was like, fair enough. Can you hear music? Yeah, I got it too. I mean, seeing your sexy body doesn't qualify as porn. Yeah, this is porn right now. All types of porn. Um, Alright, so I can play for another hour or so, so we can at least do a little bit more. I'm gonna have to calculate how much time I've used now of the actual embargo, because I'm definitely not counting any of that time as fucking embargo time. Hello from Southeast Asia. Hello, Edward Newgate. Where specifically in Southeast Asia? Are you from the Philippines, by chance? Alright, um, cool. So we were attacking the ga uh, caravan outside, which means the garrison's joining in, which is very good. So we get to kill them off, or as much as possible. And then we can just take the time. Ooh, if we auto resolve, we actually lose five units. We're not going to do that, obviously. Um, so we got a couple of units of Jade Warriors of Halberds. They got two great Longmaw war uh, Riders, which are actually really good units. Um, 383 upkeep. Holy fuck. 
They're, more, they're way more expensive than mine. How is that a thing? Why are they so much more expensive than mine? Uh, anyway, they do have a unit of Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen and Celestial Dragon Guard. So they've got some actual solid units in here. Uh, they got a Lord Magistrate as well as a Astronomer as well. What can you do? Wind Blast. That's pretty painful. A buff. Okay. Oh, I had that item I could have given to uh, to make him uh, cast like miscast and shit. Uh, whatever. Fight the battle. From Indonesia. Oh, cool. Um. I did share my feet. Oh yeah, I <laughs> did, did. You see my my foot, my feet in the the video where I showed Vito being bathed. Your legendary lord of faction probably has upkeep reduction. For, oh right, yeah, I have the twenty five percent for melee units. I forgot that's considered a melee unit. I don't know why it wouldn't be a melee unit, but there you go. My bad. Oof, I'm back. Good timing, carry you. Uh, I do want to say thank you, by the way, to all of you guys who stuck with me for the last 15 to 20 minutes of me trying to figure this stuff out. Um, like, legitimately. Oh, wow. Six. We can do better than that. <laughs> no, we can't. Um, yeah, thank you. I mean, I, I have uh, memories of streaming. Um, and um, once the stream went down for like two seconds or what, like anything happened, the game crashed or something, just instantly you lose like half your viewers. And it always made me super sad. So I'm, uh, I'm very happy that you guys didn't do that. I'm going to spread them out further so I get the buff on everyone. It's a little annoying to do that like that, but it does make sense to give everyone the buff. We do have this thing, which by the way will be very, very helpful. Uh, Mr. Dragon. Oh yeah, you've got Fangor deployment, so I think we'll just pull up ourselves up here and start breathing fire on people. Gotta be a little bit careful, those flying guys will probably mess me up a little bit. And you come over here. Um, it's not your fault that the game had a problem staying is the fair thing to do. I mean, yeah, I, I know, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go watch someone else now. Uh, right, do I want to be closer so I'm in range to immediately start firing? I'm nowhere near in range or near range right now. Is this close enough? Ugh, not quite. I go a little bit more like that. Now I'm in range. Well enough in range. Okay, let's back up a little bit, actually. Actually, let's back up just a wee bit. Okay, good enough. I kind of want to make him come towards me by doing that. The iron wind surrounds us. Okay. We got absolutely no fucking magic. Also, our power reserve is very low, so we're not gonna be able to do much magic. Oh, look at that. Look at the damage. Look at all that damage! Um, also, what's the range on this thing again? 250 meters. Yeah, we can just fire this and hope to- be Oh my god, those peasant archers got fucking ruined. Wait, I should probably fire this at- these guys. I will. Feng shui. Pew. I don't know why it always fires it like on the edge of a unit, but that, that was very shit. Repositioning. Uh, I think I'll turn myself into a fucking dragon. I don't know if I actually really want to be f wasting all my ammo with this thing. You don't have a lot of ammo, so I will run out pretty quickly. Oh shit, that, since I turn into that thing, it's coming over. Wait. Fucking fly! How fast are we? 80. They are 105. Okay, we're gonna get caught, but then our archers are gonna mess them up. They're also gonna mess me up. Uh, no, don't do that. Fire at- okay, hold on. Just stop firing for a minute. We can do better than shooting at them. Although, I think we just hit him. Archers, help! I'm being chased by some fucking long my riders, dude. Oh no, wait, are they, are they gonna- Fuck! I was worried about that. You, Longmar Riders, help out my Longmar Riders. Or against the Longmar Riders. Yeah, I don't want these guys to die. Oh, they just destroy one of my things? That's really bad. They destroy two of them. Oh, no. Holy shit. That was a cool attack. No, are they all... No! Is that Does that mean a unit dies? 
Oh, please tell me that doesn't mean the unit's gone. Oh no, big rip. Oh shit, here comes the other one as well. I hope. I really hope that doesn't mean that whole unit's gone. Okay, I should have had some spears to deal with this, because that is just terrible. That is actually really bad. Unit won't die. Oh, okay, thank you for making me feel a little bit better. Alright, we got him we got him gone. You keep chasing them. No not you. You keep chasing them. You do something else. Yeah, you sit there while I shoot you. That's nice. These things actually yeah, they have 110 armor, I forgot about that. They're actually really solid. Against the uh, ranged. Right, at least we have plenty of this shit built up by now. And they're attacking me with only a couple units at a time, which is nice. I'm gonna have to just move up now. Or am I? We're shooting back. Nah, we're okay. Let's go breathe some fire on them. Uh, free. I don't know if that unit's dead or not. Actually, go help out against the other one. Oh my god, they're just like in the air. I'm trying to attack them, but I can't constantly. Alright, I wanna do. I wanna breathe on these guys. Um, let's pop out you guys over here. Boom, bitch. It's not very exciting, I'm not gonna lie. I'll do this again, though. Okay. We're doing alright. Oh, shit. My fucking arch is actually routed in the end. Did not realize that. The other one. Oh my god, this unit's gonna fucking die! Someone help him! I can't shoot at that. Oh no. These are shaking. There's, yeah, there's more. Well, actually, no, I've got more, but mine are all so low. I'm gonna pull these guys out of here for now. There's 16 of them are still alive, but if they take any damage, then they just start falling. Wipe that unit for me, please. You keep killing this one. You shoot them a little bit. Spears go over there. Man, this is an absolute mess of a battle. This unit is just doing all right over here, though. It's just wiping shit out. Not taking any damage in retaliation. Uh, why are you going over there? Don't do that. So yeah, they're going away with... Fucking 11 of them. That makes me real sad. Right, Archer back in position. My routed one is back as well. Not having this thing anymore. I'm glad I didn't... Actually, no, I did tell it to stop firing, didn't I? Oh, that unit's having the fucking time of his life. Let's go over here and do some magic. Actually, kill this fucking thing already. Gonna attack her? Alright, I think I'm okay with that, to be honest. Don't kill this unit! No! Don't do it! Someone help out against this shit. Where's my outer spear unit? Oh, I put him over here, didn't I? Oh, the enemy's all coming in now. I was gonna line up properly first. Oh no, that unit's gone. Damn it, that didn't last long enough. Okay, I need you to get over and do some fucking magic already. This unit should be dead now. I'm, like, properly wiping it out. You get back information. You and you line up over here. Actually, get closer to them so you give them the buff. That's more important right now. You're getting properly fucking shot at this point. Alright, we should just fucking get in there. I'm really in a poor position now. The thing is, if I charge in, we'd lose our yin yang bonuses. Oh my god, this archer getting fucking blown up. Oh god, you're gonna get blown up as well. This is painful. Fuck this peasant long spearman. Yeah, there we go. Alright, those are halberds, peasant long spear. Why is everyone a fucking spearman? Get these archers. God, I played this one poorly. Jesus. It's all... What's his name's fault for making me crash? Watching you wreck wrecking the rest of their army, those two units are just running wild. Big rip. Alright, they're down to 78. Yeah, we're okay. I got more magic so I can breathe. Reeve all over him. Quite a few units right there, I like that. Oh, that's a Celestial Dragon Guard. Yeah, they don't really seem to care about that. 
Um, maybe it's time to get you back in action. I was worried they're just gonna get shot. Like, those Celestial Dragon crossbows are gonna mess them up, so... Oh, they're messing you up as well. Let's get you out of there. I can't stop shooting me. Piece of shit. Right, I have magic with you. I forgot that's a thing. You want to do some magic as well. Um, I want to probably put it on the Celestial boys, which are over here. Oh my god, you sail away. Stop getting shot by crossbows. Alright, we're getting into melee with the crossbows. That's good. Hope there's not too much friendly fire right there. Get over here. Do things that will help me murder the enemy. Still shooting my fucking leader. That range. Can't wait till I get those units myself. I'll put over here actually. Okay, I want to do another bre breathing ability right here. Their fucking archers are in melee too for some reason. And then you get in there. You got another big boy attack. Pop those on the. I might wait a second for them to get in there actually. Also, I can buff a unit. It's buff. Peasant long spearman. Not really. Alright, this is the last thing I've got, but that's gonna route that peasant long spearman for sure. You do something useful. I got arched in melee. Try and avoid that, maybe. Yep, I thought you were all the way over here. How much do I have left? No more reserve. Alright, so we got no more magic. We're not doing so hot here. This unit's basically dead. Let's try and get him out of there. They'll route from me pulling them out, I guess, but. Oh, I do have a little bit more. One per nine, but there's no more reserve. How does that work? Anyway, we've got enough for a, bre a breath. A cheeky breath. All the celestial dragon crossbows. Alright, we're through them. This is the garrison too, so we really want to kill as much as possible of the garrison. Oh, right, yeah, you have magic too, I forgot about that. Uh, which means I really need you after this to just clear shit up. I don't think I want to send you up against these guys, even though one of them is a wizard. Get a wizard Harry. Actually, if I can get a shot into these guys, it might actually hurt them. Don't miss. Oh, you actually hit for once. Wow, incredible. That's incredible! Alright. Start killing shit. We've done it. Alright, cool. That was pretty shit. Cause terror. Hey, we do cause terror. I didn't give him that item, did I? So yeah, it is it is terror. You guys fucking lied to me. Okay. Um yeah, I want to kill as much as I can. Who is the actual leader of the army? Or the, the garrison, though? I think it might be... I have no idea. Do I turn into a... No, if I switch back to human form, I don't think I'll be able to keep up with him anymore. Let's just try and kill as much as possible. Which faction that you got to play when this... Why? What? Which faction am I going to play when this game is getting global release. Um, I honestly don't know. I'm going to be playing a lot. Um, can you fucking just kill him? I'm going to be playing a lot as of, like, like, before the game releases, I'm going to be playing a lot of different factions already. Um, make sure I kill the Celestial boys. So, I will probably just continue all of those campaigns into full release, essentially. Hey, Fabian! How are you doing, dude? You alright? I haven't spoken to you in ages. I love you too, by the way. I know you're I know you're still a patron after all this time as well. I really appreciate that, bud. Um Alright, you guys are definitely not gonna be able to reach. Did we kill the Celestial? Is that this one? I think so, because I sent them after. Okay, so we killed one of the Celestial units, that's pretty good. Can I reach this unit? Nope, they've gone. And we killed the leader, so it's just whatever this is over here. Which is the other Celestial unit. And if you bring it down to, what was it, 10%? So kill three more of them with this fucking artillery unit? Come on, boys. Yeah, that wasn't to be. Pyrrhic victory. Nah, that is fucking poor. I think the auto was a little bit better than that, but... 
I'm very well. How have you been? I am also good. Um, I got married. I have a new puppy. Uh, baby on the way. It's coming in uh, just over a month. At least that's the expected date. Life is moving on, man. It's crazy. Uh, if you, I'm sure Fabian's not a particularly well-known name here, but he, um, I've known him for many, many years. I think around the time I started doing YouTube, like 10 years ago. Um, well, 13 years ago, 12 years ago. Um, he uh, used to do World of Warcraft Let's Plays, which is the, one of the things I, 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 like one of the reasons I started doing World of Warcraft Let's Plays a long time ago was because of, because of Fabian. Um, anyway, we got uh, Strider and Speed. This is probably, well, actually the Speed is really good for a unit like this. The Strider not so much because they're flying. Um, same for him. I'll probably still do it on him for now. I can always change it. We got a whole lot of experience, a bunch of money. I think we're gonna go for replenishment because we are a little bit busted after that battle. I don't know if the um, the fight for the town is gonna be an all of us over an actual battle. Hey, show my Only one way to find out. Ooh, Jade Sculptor. That we already have that one, but that's good for uh, if we build another army. Older than you, yeah, possibly, yeah. Honestly, no, I've known you for a fucking long time as well, but I think Fabian might actually out date like all my online acquaintances yes you are a dragon um so yeah this thing is useless for him that's good to know now i do have that ancillary right the jade sculptor so he's already got it and it, i guess it can only be given to um to a, a hero or a lord i mean not a hero okay so we just give it to whoever is my next hero I could give it to him, but he can't recruit, so that seems a bit fucking dumb. I do have a bunch of items to give out, so we got that Trickster Shard, Miscast Chance, plus 100%. Maybe we just give that to her. Arcane item. I mean, we don't have anything, right? So why not? Oh, I've got an achievement from that as well. Uh, enchanted item, causing fear and terror. I think, again, this would be better on a new Lord, so I'll hold off. I mean, I could, could still give it to her anyway. She can have the ward save thing, or I can have this power recharge that I totally forgot to use last time. Oh no, yeah, that's while casting, so that's passive. Armor, she's not using any, so... Yes, should have had that a long time ago. Okay, and I have no incentives to give her. Do you have two level ups though? Cool. So, I think we're just gonna go for Searing Doom. Uh, if I upgrade it again... Increased number of missiles, wider strike area. Gotta say, I kind of like having that just maxed out, I think. Overcast. Cool. Haven't played in a bit. I haven't played WoW in quite a while. I, play, I played WoW Classic a little bit, but not so much recently. Ever since they messed up with um, the... What was it called? The, the WoW Classic um, Burning Crusade. Kind of went uh, wrong direction there. Uh, right, so we got all the good stuff here. I kind of still want warding or uh, iron, which gives me that uh, ward save. But on the other hand, 35 meters around him, he tends to be alone. So I'm not sure how useful that really is. Magical attacks, base weapon damage, base missile damage. This is kind of what. This is basically the other the thing that that other guy has, except I can just buff myself every once in a while with this. That seems okay, but I think for now I'm gonna stick to. Just getting unit upgrades. Uh, so yeah, Missile Strength for Peasant Archers, uh, Jade Warrior Crossbowmen, and Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen. The units I'll probably be mo usually using mostly. Ammunition for currently only the Fire Rain Rockets, and the other ones I don't see myself using anytime soon. Charge Bonus for Cavalry, that's good, but again, we only have one of those right now. Stone Gaze, Weapon Strength and Leadership for the Wuxing War Compass and the Terracotta Sentinel. Can't yet get them for a while. And the Sky Lantern and the Sky Junk. So yeah, I think we're just going to go sure aim. That'll definitely help. Cool. Alright. Now, how is... Also, did the caravan just disappear? I think it did, actually. This is a decisive victory of low losses. I think it was all of it. Although it is a siege, and I haven't done a siege yet, but I think I would take so many losses from towers and stuff. That it's unnecessary. The Emperor is with us. 82. We got a catalytic kiln. Passive ability... 
direct damage around him, 35 meters, uh, and weakness to fire damage, of which we have a little bit. And also armor 5 for Ter Terracotta Sentinels units. Cool. Can you show the most eastern part of the map? Sure, but that's where we are right now. Alright. Cool. Um, enchanted item. Did we have something there already? No, so I guess that's that's cool. Um, we got no level up from that, nor did anyone else, so all Gucci. I was talking about how I might recruit a new uh, alchemist, but she's already level 7 now, so she already outranks um, anyone we would recruit. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, most eastern part of the map. We are already on the eastern side. Don't know what specifically you want to see. I mean, I don't have any vision around here. Uh, I gotta go for now. Love you. Don't die. I'll try. Have a good one, Fabian. Zacharino. Um, okay, cool. So we're taking that. Our yin yang is still in harmony. So oh, it's because they only have a training camp here. Right. Well, let's get rid of that. Having said that, do I. Nah. I was going to say, maybe I should make this my recruitment province instead, but we've already kind of committed to recruiting here. I mean, not really. The only thing we've got is this tier 2 building. We could just upgrade this once and we would be at the same tier. Uh, but no, I think, I think I'll think um, i think I'll leave it. Although I could just recruit two Jade Warriors right now. But I think I just want crossbows. Ugh, 150 of pop though. I forgot about the fact that, of course, we don't get our discount on them. Um... Moderator's choice to play the faction when the game goes global. I'll, I'll be playing a lot of stuff. Don't worry. I'm gonna start so many campaigns, and I'll need to. I'll try and actually finish some of them. Oh shit! They are out of a town now because the other place got taken by the Blood Guzzlers Ogre Kingdoms faction. Is that one of the main ones? I have no idea. Who are you? Bull Malatans. Doesn't tell me anything. Um, I don't know which ones are the main. Mal Bob. No idea. Uh, anyway. I thought he said dominate for a second. It's like, what? Are we in Rome now? What's going on? Uh, anyway, yeah, let's just remove this. Although, that said, how many buildings are there that I would even want to build? Um, three of these ones. No, two of these ones, to be honest. The resource building. Absolutely. Landmark. Allegiance ga points gained. Okay. Yeah, so that's four buildings I would want. Probably one or two of these. That's That would still only make six. Unless I'd get all three of these, but it seems unlikely. Also, you can only build one of these two. So, two, f four, five. That would still leave me two building slots. So there's not really any reason to remove this right now. Well, there is. I could, yeah, no, there is. Because I could then sooner build buildings that actually are beneficial to me right now. So yeah, let's get rid of it. And then I think we're going to upgrade this one here, so I can get my best units pretty quickly. So I'll be seven turns from now, I can get all the good shit. Well, the Jade Warrior good shit anyway, not the Celestial shit. The Lord Magistrate stands good. Ready. Cool. Cool, cool, coolio. Um, I could wait a single turn just to recruit two more Jade Warriors, but I think I'm good. Because I'm not I'm not a war with these people right now, so I might just go over here for a turn, recruit those two units, uh, and then run wherever I need to go. Wow. Landmark seems okay. Yeah. I mean, it's still a building I would definitely build. This tower of a shared, isn't that like... No, there's nothing unique for it. There's no, like, uh, strategic location or something. I feel like this was, like, part of the lore or something. In, like, the starting cutscene that I'm supposed to go take down or something. Check your weapons again. Uh, anyway, let's check diplomacy. Any quick dealios Cafe we can make. Eternal. Nope. No trading. The oh shit, we can confederate the Imperial Wardens. They have four towns, but they have absolutely no military strength, so I'm guessing they're just getting absolutely run over by everyone. Um, so they own this town. And then they own, I guess, one of the gates? Trophy kill. Yeah, that's for that mission. So, they own some stuff around there. Should I confederate them? I feel like this is a bad idea. It's going to get me into a whole lot of wars with people I don't really want to be at war with right now. 
Although, I'm guessing it's one of the situations where I would automatically be at war with them once I meet them. I'm guessing all the Chaos people are just like, you just Lord straight up go to war. Authority. Um... It probably would. I mean, it's uh, it'd be nice. No, what do you guys think? Should I go? Should I take that? I think I'll uh, I'll make that decision before I end the turn. I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys choose before I do anything. Do it. But is it the smart choice, or do you just want to see me do it? Because you want to see me fail. That's the real question. Donkey, did you a co-op campaign of this game? Uh, I, I will be doing a, a co-op campaign at least. I'm not currently doing one though. Not the best choice, but it could spice things up. Yeah, I think it's just not a good choice right now. Oh, this is a strategic location as well though. Do I have any relations sure with these people? Uh, yeah, I got trade and all aggression. Righteous. So they're... Dangerous, you shoot, seems decent. I think it's dangerous as well. I think it's a bad idea. Um, the forces of have you, own, have you got more than two towns yet? No, you're still being fucking terrible. Um, to be fair, from the looks of things, Windshaper. it would only if, like the enemies I would have would be right here, and I don't currently have any enemies. Well, besides this army, but he's probably gonna. Just Come and suicide. So I think I, I mean if I do it, I could run my army up there as fast as possible. And then I just try and try and actually fight the the war for the gates and shit. Maybe I do it. Maybe it maybe yeah, fuck it. Maybe this is just do it. Right? Gives me jurisdiction in uh, also do, don't you have like wait, doesn't Confederate Yeah, minus forty diplomatic relations with cafe, minus eight control. That's kinda shit. Um, what are we up? What are we at control wise right now? That's from conquest only though. Yeah, we could probably handle it. Handle it! The minus 40 relations would be a bit annoying, but it's only for five turns and then it goes away. Do it! What was the choice again? More focused on chat than Mark. You piece of shit. The confederate these guys. It's done! Oh my god. Those are actually aren't very big. They've accepted your offer. A fine choice. Well, I can almost get more trade. If you don't confederate, why won't you just be fighting all those factions that killed them anyway? Yeah, probably. Alright, making 2400 bucks right now. I could probably just pump out an army immediately. Hey, I maintained two full provinces. Got three grand from that. In battle, okay, that mission's got aborted because we... Um, is that good? Battle reinforcement time. Ah, that's not bad, actually. Confederation. Alright. Lots of shit. I've encountered a bunch of people, and I'm assuming I immediately went to war with them. Uh, I guess... Well, I'm at war with these people. I'm assuming all the Chaos stuff immediately gets straight to, gets straight to war. Okay, they're sieging this place out. What is my garrison here? Oh, that's pretty strong. A valiant defeat. Just a whole bunch of Chaos. Um... The thing is, though, I'm guessing they have four turns to siege it out. Bastion Gate. Oh man, we have. Okay, this has its own like little recruitment stuff as well. Denied. I'm just wondering how this works. So in four turns, we would just be wiped out from attrition, but we don't actually take attrition. So I think these guys are just immune to attrition. Then they just die after four turns. I'm assuming something like that. All right, cool. Um. So we got that, then we got Paul May. Oh shit, our, this is no longer correct, although it's only barely in Yang's favor, so... This is a Yang building, and it's the one I don't actually like, so I'm actually gonna remove that one. I don't want this here, and I don't really want this here, nor do I want this here. But I might keep it, because if I'm gonna run over there, I need to recruit at some point. Uh, so that's Wang Chang as well, then there's a fourth town somewhere. Oh, we got another fucking gate. Yeah, why not? All right. Um, I'm assuming I can't recruit an army while we're under siege here. No, we can't. This is pretty interesting. Also, hold on. This place that we just took, 
This has a strategic location thing, so we... What is that? Temple of Jade Blood Sorceress. Control, control adjacent provinces, growth, winds of power, reserve, blah, blah, because that's not bad. And we also have iron. Okay, so we got just do that, those two buildings I want to build for sure. We should keep the buildings and recruit an army there. Uh, thing is, I don't think I want to recruit units from this. I, I will I will recruit Jade Warriors, and I'll recruit... Probably, I guess I'll have to just recruit Jade Warrior Crossbowmen without shields for now. Um, I don't think I'd recruit Peasant Horsemen either, so I'm just removing the buildings that I wouldn't recruit from anyway. Also, Terracotta Graveyard is a town that belongs to this as well, so we could just take that out on the way. Oh, that's got a large garrison, though. I think I need my army for that. So the thing is, I don't have anyone to fight right now once we've dealt with this army. Question is, how long would it take me to get there? What colors? Two, three, four. If I if I force march, I can probably get there in time. And if they do the actual battle, I think we win. Um, no point in removing this right now, I guess. God. Getting confusing. Um, yeah, I'll keep this one for now. But I'm not. Re I, I I think I will just recruit an army because we have a decent bit of money. What else do we have? Right, this other place. Okay, so I need to have a look at what actually we can build here. Um, we have four different defense buildings. This is all this recruitment stuff. Okay, so we have attrition, minus 30%. Casualties suffer from chaos, waste attrition, uh, recruitment cost reduction, recruit rank. Okay, upkeep reduction, campaign line of sight, uh, defensive supplies. And per turn, one under siege. Ammunition during siege, that's pretty cool. And then growth, casualty replenishment rate. Eh. Yeah, I think I probably would get these two. That one I don't really care about. I think these two, and then we have a third building slot available, so I guess the recruitment thing is not a terrible idea. So I think this is okay. Uh, recruitment cost. So actually, we could recruit our army here. It'd be a lot cheaper than doing it here. But here I would I could be able I would be able to get here faster. <laughs> Rating for zero income. Nice. Um Okay. Do I wanna upgrade this? I don't think I do. I think I'm gonna recruit an army. So a lord. Uh, so what do we do, Lord wise? Probably want the growth early decades, they have little other growth. Yeah, that's true, I guess, but I was kind of wondering how valuable growing is. I guess it gets me a better garrison. Yeah, that's probably quite valuable, actually. Maybe the growth building is worth it. But then again, I don't think I've removed this building right now. Eh, then again, the casualty suffered. Do I really care about that? Um, God, I can't believe I own two of the gates all of a sudden. This tier one building feels a bit shit, so let's get... Well, ah, should I just upgrade it to level two? No, I think I get growth building here. Okay. Right, so, recruit a general, or a lord. Lord Magistrate is... Oh, what do you have here? Inspired Marksmanship. Accuracy, Reload Skill. Inspired Assault. So I guess you have... Oh, uh, because they're, they're like... I guess they have, like... No, they're still Yin or Yang. But they have the same abilities. Inspired Defense. Okay. Um... I did say I wanted to go for a melee guy, so I can then have a rain or a, uh, a wizard as my like lore or like hero in the army. So what have you got? So leadership when fighting against demons of chaos. Well, that's kind of what you're going to do right now. But um, optimistic melee attack, enemy hero action success chance, eh? Corruption minus one. That's pretty good as well. I feel like leadership's pretty solid against demons of well, it's demons of chaos, which these are just chaos, right? Rogue armies. I don't think they're actually chaos. Uh, I mean, I I'll probably still help, but maybe minus corruption is a good idea. We're not gaining any corruption right now, but that's because they're whooshing compass as well. The magistrate is basically the commander type general from 3k, it seems to me. Yeah, maybe. You probably want to grow for. Yeah, that's probably okay. I would go Tayon Ta Yong. Uh, this guy, really. The one. This one seemed like the. the least important one to me. The melee attack is nice, but I think four leadership for everyone is better, or corruption. But then again, the corruption doesn't seem to be that important. Um, 
Why can't I get you? Recently wounded in battle. What? Who the fuck is you? Why were you wounded in battle? I don't remember you being wounded in battle at any point. Um, bureaucrats. I'm gonna go for Ji Wang. You. Uh, am I recruiting me in the right place? Code display. Yeah. Okay. Ji Wang. I shall restore order. All right, bud. Um, we get two whole units per turn, unless I no, I don't have this Lord commandment here. Damn it. The Emperor calls okay. Upon you. Just start by pumping out some Jade Warriors, I guess. There is no cause no These guys are cheaper, actually. Upkeep wise, so I'll start with them. Getting the rank. Did I already do my level ups? Man, there's so much stuff to do. I already did the level ups, actually. Never mind. She's the leader of the faction you confederate. Oh, right. Yeah, that's that's what that is. So did she have a higher level, or is she just level 1? She is level one. No, level two. Yeah. Wow. How crazy. Um. Be on guard. Okay. Got a lot to do next turn as well. So we're building a small army. I don't think we need a large army. I am going to bring my army over anyway to deal with this. But first we've got to deal with this army. Which hopefully will just come and attack me and not my caravan. Because that might be a problem. That would be an actual problematic thing if they end up dealing with that first. Uh, let's check my diplomacy real quick. See what we're at in terms of new people that I've met. Uh, yeah, so these ones are automatically at war with. Okay, cool. Any... Lord Magistrate. No, no trade. Yeah, yeah. I can get military access with people, but I'm not super excited about that. Okay, building upgrade available. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold off on this. I don't think that's really that important right now. Commandment available. Oh, right, these things actually do... Okay, hold on. So these are special. Great Bastion Fret, minus 1% per turn province-wide. Does that... does it reduce this one? That's pretty insane if it does. Growth 25, construction cost minus 25% for all buildings. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna start with this. But that... just if I have two gates, I can just reduce it by 2%. That seems pretty good. Um, but yeah, let's start with the growth for now. Cool. I'm going to recruit more units as well. Also, I almost made it to the free grant. I would have had Celestial Silk Robe. I Items for New Lord. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll do that. What do you want, sister? So long, Military access. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to attack you anytime soon. Let's do it. Let's do it. I will just confederate you. Oh, that doesn't... Okay, fine. Oh, let's make an even 300. Fair enough. You know what? Free, free 10. No... Fair enough, just 300 then. Fuck you. 295. You got yourself a deal. Alright. Cool. Oh shit, they- Oh fuck, they've actually got an army there. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, okay. Well, still sucks, but... No! You piece of garbage! And I can't run! I might lose my caravan here. I put a lot of money on there. Um... Okay, we've got a whole bunch of Jade Warriors, some Peasant Long Spearmen, two Jade Warrior Crossbowmen, two Iron Hill Gunners. These are close range. The annoying thing is that this is just going to take more time. I want to see the other fucking thing. I want to see if I can handle that, but probably not. The fact that they have a full stack there. I might be able to deal with a small army that attacked me initially, unless my garrison is just dead. But then they would have just attacked me, right? I don't know. Either way, let's try this, I guess. Cav... I have quite a few of them, they're quite strong. They have a fair amount of range units that hopefully my calf could kind of deal with. We've got a couple of strelts, see? So that's nice. For elite calf. Yeah, I think the calf is going to be very instrumental in this one. It's only a valiant defeat. If you play it well, you can win. Yeah, I think so. But. That said, I only have four infantry units against their nine. I have a, a, a noble, though. Elio Nobet. Um, okay. We have a, a little bit of a hill, actually, as well. It's nice. Right. 
Uh, actually, I might play this one slightly differently. I might place you guys further back so that you don't get focused by archers, because you die a lot faster. Oh yeah, I've got the Strelsky, which are actually kind of melee as well. They're Gun Great Axe Infantry. They have 70 armor, no shield. Um, 140 range, not bad. They actually same range as these guys, fair enough. Too fat, they haven't got any yin or yang on them though. Uh, but I think they're a decent unit to keep kind of like around there. I'm gonna go for a very interesting formation here. I'm also gonna move a little bit to the left of all this. So I keep myself some more room. The old V-shaped formation, and then we're gonna slot in the archers right here in the middle. Maybe a little further back, actually. And then we got two melee dudes, which will probably be quite important here. And then I have four units of calf. Who are gonna have to carry the fuck out of this battle. Alright. That's all I've got. I am prepared. A little bit more like that, probably. Alright. That is just not looking good, though, is it? No kingdom can stand <laughs> against Grand Not Cafe. coming where I expect them to come from. Peasant horsemen. All right. Honestly, if you want to fucking fight me one on one, I think I'll take that. It'll mess them up pretty hard. Are you liking this game? Yes. Um. All right. Take that. Actually, let's send one around the flank. Not sure how effective that is in this game, but. Yeah, that's a good amount of damage. Let's get rid of that unit real quick. That'll be super helpful. Get him routed. Yeah, we lost, like, basically nothing. And it's. Okay, I don't care if it fucking gets away. I don't care. I don't give a shit about that. Let's start moving into position, because I'm guessing these guys haven't got the highest amount of vigor. The dragons chose me! The dragons chose me! Yeah, not to fight my fucking boars for me, though. I uh, chose you to... Uh, to lead my... Um, to lead my caravan, and then you decide to get involved in this. Also, I like this portrait for the, the noble, by the way. Oh, it just changes the color for some reason of whatever you have selected. What the fuck? That's not working as intended. The fuck? Anyway. Uh, I don't like that I'm getting shot right now, but I have to take it, unfortunately. Jade Warriors. I don't really want to... I mean, I guess distracting enemies isn't the world thing, worst thing in the world. I don't know if I like the fact that I'm getting shot. I don't want this to be a ranged battle, really. Maybe I could take this on. I have no idea how good these units are. I might just be wasting two units right here if I send, try and send them in. I don't think I can easily, like, route a unit like that anyway. I like this. I like the fact that I'm just getting to wipe a unit. Okay, there we go. They're coming up. I'm coming up. I'm gonna try this. But I very much doubt this will be effective. Yeah, we just run straight through and don't do any damage. I was expecting that. Let's not worry about it. I was gonna do like a double sided charge, but this is no point. We have a lot of peasant archers to go murder instead. Probably should have sent those guys up a little sooner. Oh god, heart is being focused now. Most little land! <laughs> Just a random Spear. quote in there. Yes. It is, done. It is, is there a point charging in the back of this? Or should I go for the other archers? Probably try and charge in the back Cavalry. of this stuff. Oh, yeah, they got that thing where they drop below a certain morale. They, uh. I'm like getting shot with his crossbows right now. Cravens, your warriors flee. 
my archers. Yeah, they were getting full on shots, so I can't really blame them. That charge seemed somewhat effective, but let's get him down into the archers. I don't like the fact that I'm fighting Jade Crossbows, they're probably not great. We are doing alright against them, we are killing them, but I think constantly charging new shit is probably the way to go. Commander of cities. Come on, the mint. Your warriors are rallying. The archers turn around and fucking fire at whatever you can fire at. Just trying to get as many charges off as possible. These guys are pretty fucking tanky, so that's something we got going for us at least. If I can break the center here, that'd be pretty good. Get rid of them, because they might actually do a lot of damage against me. Oh, wow, it looked like a pretty solid charge to me. That's a pretty low morale on the enemies. See, this is why I'm playing on not legendary, because I, if I played this on legendary, I would definitely not be able to win this, I'm pretty sure. But now that I'm playing on hard, I feel like I actually have a, have a chance. I might still not win it, but I feel like I actually stand a chance, and it's just a lot more enjoyable. I do see a lot of shit going on here, though, that I'm not a huge fan of. Jay the Lance says. Can we get some fucking routing in the center now? My goodness. I'm, I am enjoying how how long my lines are holding. The problem is this is a uh, a caravan, so it's just gonna run into more shit soon. Right, back out again. Yeah, to crossbows. You need to get the fuck it out of there. Let's the yeah, get whatever you're next to, actually. I am ready. You get out of there again. There's some peasant archers for me. Get another charge in there. See, so yeah, I've got some gunners over there I'm not a huge fan of. Man, my line is holding way better than I ever expected him to. I'm really hoping I can get some shit routed, though. Sooner rather than later. I've seen shit of theirs routing constantly, but... Oh, there we go, we got one. Or wavering constantly, I mean, not routing. Okay, get into those peasant archers for me as well. Okay, we got a lot of routing going on now. No, not you. you stay in there. Kill the shit or whatever. You need to get out of there. Get in there. Charge again. I like... I don't know if this is the, the whole, like, the way that they changed cavalry. But these units seem a lot more responsive than I feel like I remember them being. If I pull them out, they don't get stuck in there. They actually do seem to get out, and I can charge them in again. Sorry if I'm not reading chat at all, by the way. I'm a little preoccupied. Oh, what the fuck? We won! I looked up there, like, 20 seconds ago, and it was still in their favor. And then all of a sudden, we won. What the fuck? That was unexpected. Alright, well that was good. Um, again, this is one of those things- oh man, the spears on these guys. How many kills did I get? 192, 157, 116, 96. I just got worse every time. Um, yeah, this is one of the- this, I, I feel like maybe this was a little bit too easy. And now I'm like, oh, I kind of wish I was playing a Legendary. Because that was like- It was almost no challenge. Like, I had my line, and they held, and I didn't have to do anything about that. And my cav, I just, all I had to do was control my cav. And I feel like on Legendary I would have lost just because of the, the buffs the enemy would have had. So, I feel like maybe it was a little bit too easy now, but, yeah, whatever. You can see Mark doesn't know how know to hold ground slash fire at will trick for range units and hybrids to dominate melee. Oh, you mean like if you put them on, uh, on guard mode and then they... Oh, the front rank is a melee but the rest behind them still keep firing? Is that what you mean? If so, I am aware of it, but I uh, didn't think about it, I guess. Again, I don't, as you know, I don't really play this game, <laughs> or, well, Warhammer, a whole lot. Right, well, let's do as much fucking damage as possible, boys. I think the biggest, uh, it looked really bad initially, <clears throat> because those archers of theirs were just doing, or the ranged units of theirs were just doing ridiculous amounts of damage to me instantly. But 
once I was able to get into the range units with my calf, it was instantly looking way better. Gotta say though, those calves make me really excited to get them in my own army because my god, the, <laughs> the five of them, wait, they, they start with 60 men, 60 units, uh, and the four of them between them, not a single one got to below 50. Not a single one lost more than, or lost even 10 units. That's pretty good. My Streltsky both survived as well. Streltsy, whatever the fuck they're called. Whatever the fuck they're called. Okay, we're not going to be able to reach that one. Try and get to them. That's the trick, but it's not just old ground. Need fire at will. I think the kids of hybrid units would be OP. Not ah, fair enough. Are you like? Oh wait, I already read that. All right, am I liking the game? I guess there just weren't any comments during that. I guess me saying I wasn't reading chat because I was preoccupied, no one was even saying anything. Was everyone so enthralled with this uh, this battle? I can only imagine. It was a very enthralling battle, wasn't it? Uh, you're not doing anything, how could you? I really should have been triple speeding this though, in fairness. I think I've got about as much done as I could though, to be fair. That unit's... Probably gone. Not really much we're going to do there. And this unit's gone already. That's my unit. That unit is gone. Gone. Everyone's gone! That unit's still alive, but I can't get to them. I can't gone to get to them. No. Heroic victory. Yeah, I'll take that. Hopefully this guy gets some cool... Some, some like... Some nice thing from that. Some kind of upgrade. I don't know. So cavalry, 174, 201, 233, and 266 in the end. Not too shabby. Yeah, and they really were the only ones who did anything, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure I have my units on fire at will, by the way, though, John. Alright. Um, I think we're going to take a bit of replenishment. Yes. Level 6, wait, hold on, was he, he was level 2, wasn't he? But he's leveled up 4 times from that one battle. Wait, hold on. Please tell me my caravan... Oh shit, they're actually going for the battle. It's pretty a, a fucking victory. We don't even lose anyone if I out-absorb it. Damn, I want to see what happened. Did my caravan move, or did it just die? Because, I mean, it, well, it won the battle, why would it be dead? But it wasn't there anymore, so I don't know what the fuck happened. Also, I'm pretty sure my army was standing outside the town. I'm confused as to what happened. Um, anyway, I have to go pretty soon. Can I do this battle? Uh, Alright, all right, let's do one more battle. Quickly. Don't tell my wife. Because we have to leave soon. But don't tell her. I want to do one more battle. Still 100 plus people. We, have, uh, we actually have more people on average during the whole stream today than we had yesterday. So, can't complain. I, I want to play f for many more hours, but unfortunately I can't. Um, Alright, so this is the first time I've actually done a siege battle in this game. I think it moved. Okay, I hope so. Um, I haven't actually done a siege battle in this game yet. E even in my time that I had bef like playing the game before I, got, uh, or before I was allowed to show anything, I didn't actually um, do a single siege battle. So I don't know what these are like. Caravans teleport a long distance, hopefully it's just somewhere else now. Yeah, I think I think so. I just thought it teleported at the end of or at the beginning of my turn or something, but it's very far in my favor, but I'm not sure if that counts. Yeah, I don't think that counts the reinforcements, which are arriving after basically two minutes each. Uh twelve, I'll take that. What's our pool? Sixty-eight, not bad. Alright, cool. So we have towers. Uh we also have the supply thing, so I guess we can also Oh, does this mean we have to man them? Hold on, let's test this fury. Yep, okay, so you need units nearby in order to actually have them fire. Okay, so the points I have is... Oh, zero. Right, but let me just have a look around what I can do with them. So it looks like the outer side is all just... You can't do anything with that. You have to build the defenses in your own town. So we got a couple of towers we can build. There's one there as well. And then we just got loads of barricades. Towers here as well. This feels like it'd be super easy to do. Also, did I not tell everyone to go here and somehow I still have units over there? What the fuck? 
I don't know if that's... No, I don't think that's what I did just now. Anyway. Um, since the reinforcements are coming from there, I should definitely be focused on that. So I have... Let's see. Five ranged units. Celestial Dragon Crossbows. Oh, can you not like... Is that not a thing in this game? Drag them out further. Oh, yes! I captured a neutral victory point! I did it, boys! Um, okay. Maybe I should keep you guys kind of over here, then. I guess everyone fires anyway. I'm assuming. Wind and fire. I probably want all the towers, although is it worth capturing these ones? Eh, they will fire initially. I'll keep one of my worst units here, just to capture it, basically. Do we have all of them now? No, not the one on the edge. This is the most important one, annoyingly. So I'll use you for that instead. And then I got two units left over, which are these two. Let's do it like that, actually. That seems like it would be good. Uh, and then... Are they, they're just going to climb the wall. They don't actually have any siege towers. So they, did they not build anything? Or what the fuck was their plan? Uh, I guess I need to leave a unit down here. In case they bust through the gate. Right? Let's put our best unit there, I guess. I, I'm i playing this probably really poorly. But I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. So, <laughs> excuse me. Let's get them a little bit further that way. Uh, that will do. Whatever. Did I put you on the... No, yeah, I've still got you. There's more gates as well. Probably want one down here too then. We've still got you. And I've got the two calf. Probably put take them out at some point. So I can use them. You have... You have a ranged weapon. You're a... You got a wizard Junzheng. Uh, I've got harmonic convergence and wind blast. Ooh, that'll actually be quite nice. Uh, and then I've got two peasant spirit tickets. Let's um, let's put some more units over here because we are about to be attacked from every by everything over there. So yeah, I think this is right. Cool. Hope I did all right. Let's find out. What's the range on this? 100 meters. That's not very high. We are creatures of wisdom and harmony. Okay, we're getting supplies hella quick. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is that for the towers? Those things are insane. Oh my god, we messed up that unit. Now we got all the crossbows firing. Okay, we're gonna have to murder this whole army before the second one even arrives. Or the, well, second and third one at the same time. It's not even a fucking challenge. What the heck? Oh my god, those towers are insane. <laughs> Holy fuck. Alright, this one's no longer worth holding. So I should probably switch you out. Over here instead. If that unit eventually starts moving. Thank you. Uh, Alright, I got points I need to spend as well at some point. But I think I'm not too worried about that. I probably... I honestly don't think the enemy's ever going to get there. I have lost the victory point. Shaken. But not stirred. Okay, putting my arches up here is probably a bad idea. Let's actually put you over there instead. Put you guys right there. They're not climbing anywhere. Oh yeah, they were climbing there, but then they decided probably not a good idea, actually. It's got the Marauder Hunters now. But we got the uh, Jade Warriors of Halberts here to stop them. Good. And then all we have is the... This guy. Welch Red Eye. He's actually going to bust through the gate, which is a little annoying. Maybe I just open the gate and try and kill him. Come on in, sir! Please enter! Please enter my domain! You are very, very welcome, sir. Now, um... I'm gonna pop you guys up here, because I can only imagine you guys are gonna just go straight there. Immediately. There they all come. Oh, we immediately volley off. That's fucking sick. Wicked shit. Um, alright. Oh, I do need to kill this guy before... Oh, he's climbing up. Okay, well, that's a... What a prick. I opened the door for you, and you you, you treat me like this. Uh, hello? Inside, please, everyone. If you beat this army before reinforcements, you just win. Oh, interesting. But what happens to them, though? Do they just... Are they still full health, then, at that point? Also, I can probably tell you guys what to fire at, can't I? Yeah, I could. Uh... 
I'll let it be. Are you walking? No, you're running, apparently. It doesn't really look like running, though. Crossbowman. Oh, yeah, you might actually... Oh, shit, I'm a wizard, Harry. Didn't really think about that. I will lose that fight, so maybe not. Actually, I am not interested in fighting you at all. Oh, actually, is he gonna fucking go for a... Hold on. Time to build some towers. Um... I think towers is the best thing, right? 1400 buck towers, range 350 is the same either way. Eh, let's get a couple of, uh, yeah, fuck it, let's get one of these bad boys. If we're gonna be attacked, it's gonna be from this side, so I may as well. Where, okay, surely we can eventually kill him with a celestial fucking dragon guard, right? Oh shit, it's even over here, what the heck happened here? They just ran straight through me, what? Just like that chili I ate last night. Um. Okay. This seems like an absolute piss take, to be honest. The enemy ladders have ducked on our walls. No. Oh, they brought it. Sorry. Can we kick him down? Just fucking kick him straight down. Celestial dragon crossbows. You guys are okay in melee. I'm gonna leave you there. Warriors. If you leave me there. I have magic with you. I need to get you on the wall somewhere so I can actually cast some of it. Oh, we're massacring him with these guys. Oh, they're easily winning that. Nice. I did kind of fuck up by leaving you guys here. Should have certainly sent you over at some point. Um, maybe? Can I? Can they, can they arc over? I'm guessing not since they're crossbows. But, oh man, this guy's almost dead already. Sheesh. The enemy ladders have docked the walls. Oh my god, the fucking point blank. <laughs> this is pretty fun. This guy's still going. Get him, boys. I would like to be able to do some magic before this is all over. Um, these units are coming in too damn slowly. What is this? What are you? Marauders. That's towers. Um, we got a slightly better hit on these guys. Boom! Alright. Wasn't all that exciting to be honest. Um, I think I should honestly just triple speed this, to be honest. There's not really a whole lot of strategy involved here. Have we killed that guy yet? Uh, no, we almost have. I can build more towers as well, but... These guys are combat... This is the one annoying thing I remember as well about this. My gates are destroyed... Oh, but we won. Is that uh, units can route and then come back behind your line. It's kind of like, okay, that's pretty dumb. Let's triple speed. Kill as much as possible here with all these, um... Towers and shit. Well, I, uh... I don't think I need an army anymore. So that's... That's a thing. Oh, that fucking point blank right there. This guy's still going. Oh, you're joking me. Alright, let's build a tower. That takes, like, way too long, though, doesn't it? Oh, can I not build towers anymore after the battle's already over? You piece of shit. He's just gonna get away. Alright, fine. Close thing! Close! Oh, it's, it's one of those things where it's based on how much ammo you have left or something, right? I mean, we literally lost 16 guys. How the fuck was that close? Also, the Celestial Crossbows. Damn. 189 kills. Still need an army for Zinj. Yeah, 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 no, I know. But I'm I'm gonna be sending my army over anyway. And the army that I'm building is gonna just be gone. Because we're already under siege. Which hopefully we'll fucking finally see after all this. Um Cause yeah, we we already got besieged again. Uh I don't think I care about unit replenishment being slightly reduced right now, to be honest. Not, not that I really care about 290 bucks either, but. See you later, Chaos Twats. Yeah, like we're already being attacked. Settlement transferred. The changer of ways moves against you. Xinxian agents have manipulated the populace of Shangyan. They have switched allegiances to their new masters, Kaja. What? Oh, that's why I'm standing outside. Um. Ruler of the Sky Road. 
Wait, what? Why can't I move? Dismissive. Oh. Someone besieged. Harmony. Oh, shit. I thought I had that under control. Establish a. Oh, really? Establish a ta trade agreement? Okay, there we go. We can't take it back immediately, but that's gonna take a full fucking turn to do. That's really annoying. Siege, what the hell? Uh, okay, we've done that. We got a jade amulet as well. Cool. Oh yeah, we yeah. So we had the mission, and now we immediately did it. Got the item. All right, that was a lot of shit that just happened. Um. Okay. Well, first of all, get rid of all this nonsense. <laughs> Close victory. How, uh, how is this? What is this? Is he, he's in reinforcement range. Okay, so we didn't even get to recruit, so we're just, we, we're basically just, um... We just recruited someone for him to immediately die. Oh, but this is the Walt Settlement. Hold on. So we actually have a chance here. Who are you? Tendros. Because this is just a dude in one unit. Okay, out of curiosity, what is it like if I were to do this right now? It would be a victory. Okay. Um, we actually have, yeah, we got some decent, we got another Celestial Dragon Crossbow, Celestial Dragon Guard. These are pretty solid units. They take two minutes to get onto the field. That's not super relevant though. They do have two wizards. Two wizards? Howdy. Um, yeah, I think we, uh, we, we probably just fight that to be honest. Otherwise we start taking attrition. Um... Which means that I technically have time to deal with this. So where did my army teleport to, my... It better fucking be alive still. Uh, caravan. Returning to capital. Reserve caravan. What? Oh, I must have gotten a new one from... Oh, they've got man-eaters. And man-eaters. Nice. Um, I must have gotten that one for free. So where's where the fuck are you at? You are three turns away. Is this you right here? Oh yeah, I send them that way. Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay, cool. So they actually just tele. Fuck me, they teleported from over here all the way to over. Here. What the? F Wish I could move like that. Wish I could move like Jagger. I, uh, I kind of want to kill them off, but yeah, we gotta go take this fucking town back now, which means I have to declare war on the, the these people, the which are right here. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. What can you possibly say to forestall this? But so be it, I suppose. They still gotta get through some fucking gates to get to me, and these guys will probably just come and uh, suicide themselves. Annoyingly, though, I, I actually was building stuff here, and that's cancelled out. That's probably the most annoying part. And we're no longer in harmony. Also, when is this going away? Is this just always going to stay here? Until we actually, like, reduce it or something. The attack has started, additional chaos will, while the threat remains full. Okay, so we have to get it below full, and then... Oof, okay. So yeah, I probably do need an actual army. I didn't even realize I had warhounds. What the... Anyway, lots of stuff to look at, but we have to. We have. To, I have to end the stream today because I, I have to go to my sister because it's her, her birthday today. So, thank you guys all very much for watching. I'm gonna end the stream here. I will be streaming again tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure what time. Uh, there's no new embargo dropping, so I can just do whenever I want. Basically, not entirely sure what we'll do, but we'll see. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed and you like my channel and stuff and maybe subscribe if you haven't already um go check out other people on youtube right now jackie fish and legend are streaming at least there's probably other people too i would raid legend but he's never going to notice it anyway so what's the point um so thank you guys for watching if you haven't bought the game yet and you're you're going to pre-order it anyway uh use the link in the description to game use the code smart donkey at checkout you get 10 percent off it's the legitimate steam Re retailer of steam keys um cool i think i've said everything i need to be said is my chat bro oh there we go i was gonna say it's chat broken no one's saying anything but thank you guys for watching have a good day and goodbye